I sense someone who did not like and subscribe. Greetings and hello there everybody, it's me! Your beloved Star Wars father, Nooch Too Good, here with roster reviews, cahoots, and more! People who get roster reviews, of course, can join me on Discord for a little voice chat. I see Swiftblade in there now. Opion1, are you a Masters member? Uh, I don't think you are. I maybe you maybe you've upgraded. Did you upgrade your uh, membership? One six five eight five seven one two four. I got you, Swiftblade. Hey, we are approaching nineteen thousand subscribers on the channel, and I'm wondering if we can get there today. I don't know. It's it'd be forty two subs on the stream right now. We're at eighteen nine fifty eight. Let me share with you guys. This is where we are right now. Eighteen nine fifty eight. I would love to get to 19,000 on stream. We've had that many people subscribe on stream before. Please check your subscribe button to make sure you are subscribed. If you're not, subscribe to the channel. Let's push this to 19,000 right now in our quest to do 20,000 by end of year. I don't know if we're gonna get to 20,000 by end of year, but we can certainly make an effort for it, right? We can do everything we, we can to get there. All right, so um, let me, I gotta check something here. And here, got to go to here, and uh, memberships, tr 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 tr. yeah, Opion, I don't, I think you are a, a Knights of Nooch member, which I appreciate, and I love the support, but we uh, kind of moved on from that being a, a roster every month a couple months ago, unfortunately, it just, it was just too crowded, and too much going on, it was, uh, it was, uh, yeah, it just became too challenging, I know that uh, Oxlane is a, well, yeah, so, Anyway, sorry, Opion, nothing personal there. Ethan High School! Gotcha, buddy. Hey, we got room for one more $10 review. And then we'll, we're will we going to push it to $20. I got a Kahoot coming in. Let's see here. 7, 3, 6, uh, 9, 7, 8, 5, 7, 6. Is that your first donation on a, on a stream, Ethan? Really? I guess maybe it was just memberships before. So, okay. Okay, let me, I gotta gather myself, a, little, a lot of stuff going on here. Hey, ah, uh, we've got Hex and Count Dooku on. Let's give some intros here. Let's drop, what is that? What just happened? What is that? I'm not kidding, I don't know what's on the screen right now. That should not exist on the stream on the screen. I don't know what that is. It looks like something from Discord, but I don't have any. What's going on? Oh my goodness. That is my alert box. What does that say? I think I need to re-log into Streamlabs. One second here. Am I not? Um, let's see. Why is my alert box all jacked up? Hold on a second, guys. I, I don't, I just don't know why that's there. Did my Streamlabs just get all reset or something? Now it's... Huh. 
Huh. I feel like Streamlabs just got completely reset. All right, something's going on with Streamlabs right now, guys. Um, let me see. Yeah, okay, so look here. Here, here is, uh, I just Googled, is Streamlabs down? Here's a Streamlabs issue detector right here. It is high. People are reporting issues with Streamlabs right now. So something's going on. So I'm going to actually just turn off the alert box, which I don't like doing. But unfortunately, it's not working. So there's no reason to leave it open right now. And I don't want to fiddle with it because it just seems like it's an actual problem with them that they'll get figured out. So where's my alert box here? Here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close that for now. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. A little bit of a uh, little bit of confusion there. Streamlabs is messed up. Opion, uh, gotcha, buddy. All right, let's see here. Five, six, four, three, nine, two, two, five, eight. Okay, we're popping to twenty dollars for Ross reviews, guys. We're gonna get it going. Sorry about all the confusion there. Something's going on with Streamlabs in their um, uh, yeah, it's just messed up. Okay, all right, all right. Hold, uh, really sorry. Uh, lots of crazy stuff going on. So we got Swift Blade, oh, uh, Ethan High School, and Opion in line for review right now. We're going to. Uh, did you happen to see the first place in Kyber One? I'm curious about your thoughts. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I, I don't. Uh, is there something going on with first place in Kyber One? That's going backwards. What are my thoughts on Via Farron? I don't know. I don't know what that means, Joshua. All right. Uh, okay. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Okay. We're going to get... My computer can't handle 20,000 subs. My computer... Let me tell you. My computer is struggling, but I can handle 20,000 subs. It actually has nothing to do with my computer, but I get what you're saying. That's funny, funny stuff. Okay, so let's do this. Um, let's get the Kahoot going. Let's get the Kahoot going. I'm going to load this up here. We got, uh, we got a Kahoot today from your pal and mine. If I can open this. And right now it's just one person, one winner of Kahoot today. What the heck? What is going on with my computer today? And then this is just, this is actually my computer from Jan Burned. Jan Burned. This is a French themed Kahoot. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, game. <laughs> a French themed Kahoot. Let me go and get this started. So this is gonna be fun. This will be fun for those who speak any French. This is gonna be your Kahoot for my French folks out there. You're gonna have a little leg, little leg up. Last time we had a bunch of American movies on Kahoot, so I can't blame the French for pushing back on us. Here's the game pin. Look at the Kyber One roster. Seven five eight eight two six seven. That is your Kahoot. Look at the Kyber One roster. Snips has been a nine member for nine months and is donating his review. Let's get. Uh, I thought I shut that down on all my screens. I gotta do this every time I go into a new screen here. Come on, uh, where is it? Alert box. Sheesh. Okay, uh, let's give Snips his. All right, that's gonna be two reviews, guys. That's two reviews available because Snips has donated his review today. Why was that so? Jank. Hang on a second. Let's do that again. I don't know. Something's going on. I, I think it's... I really do, guys. I think it's Streamlabs. My provider for streams 
it seems like they're having general problems right now. So you're probably going to see some lag and some challenges or whatever. Let's go take a look at that um, top player in Kyber 1 again, like we just saw. So we're saying that their roster is 4 million. These rosters are... They seem off to me all the time at the top of these at the top of these rankings. I never really understand. I think the rankings are jacked, honestly. Let's take a look here. Is this a conversation people are having today? Kyber won 4.8 million. <laughs> let's, uh, let's let's try. Let's see if we can look it up here. Let's hold on a second. Is it is this are people talking about this today? I just don't think he should be in Kyber One. It doesn't look like anything weird's going on, but he's fighting like a Gear Eleven Grievous, a Gear Eleven Geos, Gear Eleven Finn, Gear Eleven. I feel like it's not Kyber One. Like. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. There's no cheating going on, it looks like. It's just that for some reason, Capital Games has got him in the wrong bracket. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, well, there we get it. Okay, let's take a look at our Kahoot here. Let's get our Kahoot screen loaded up. Enter the Kahoot today for a chance to win two free roster reviews. I'm giving away one, and Snips is giving away a roster review today. So there we go. Uncle Nooch, I got French Canadian background. Well, I hope you speak some French. I put gerbil onto it. Get gerbil onto it. Your whole family is French. Well, let's get it done. Get in there, Luke. Uh, she was in roster. Who was in roster mania? I don't know what that means. It's time for a roster mania. Polish girl. She was in one of your roster mania videos. Hmm. Okay. I believe you. I don't remember. What now? What are we at? What are we at? Well, let's see. How are we doing at subs? I, I don't know if we're gonna get 19k today. It didn't look very. Usually the stream. Okay, we're we only now we're at 18,000. We still need 40 more subs today. We need 40 more subs while streaming to get to 19,000. Come on, guys. Come on, step it up. Let's step it up here. Make it happen. Make it happen for the children. We got only 27 entries into the Kahoot. Is that right? Are people scared because it's a French themed Kahoot? Get in there, baby. There, make some hay while the sun is shining. We got two reviews to give away today. You gotta take your shot. You gotta take your shot. If I win, I would give my roster review to somebody. Well, that's fine, Luke. Somebody might appreciate that. Learned a little French in school, but uh, forgot most of it. Let's go, man. New. So, how's everybody doing the Christmas poll? Are you look excited for Christmas? Yes, 51%. Let's go, 27%. I don't celebrate Christmas. 7% out of 100. I mean, 7 people out of 100 don't celebrate Christmas. Um, probably we got some maybe Hanukkah folks out there. Maybe some other. Uh, maybe just some non-celebrators. I don't know. Bah Humbug, 15%. Wow. 15 of, 15 of you. Bah Humbug. Boy, they are... This is not me, you guys. So, this is... So I have to uh, disable this on every... This is dumb. That's pretty dumb. That's not how... Usually, usually like, if you have an alert box, you disable it in one place and it's disabled across the board. You, I know you guys don't know how this works, but I don't know what's going on. So, yeah, Streamlabs is, is, is messed up today. So there will be no alerts when we get subscribers. Hopefully we get the alerts. We should get the alerts in YouTube when stuff happens. So, yeah. All right, guys, 36 folks in. We're going to give another minute or two for folks to jump in and join the Kahoot. Membership is not popping on this stream. I don't think we're going to hit 19,000 on the stream. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. But, um, hey, for those who do get roster views today or you paid for a roster view, I am in the voice chat in my Discord. And, man, I jumped on the Discord. Today. I've got so many messages. I can't even... Um, it's just getting to the point where I can't handle everything that I got on Discord. Gerbil's actually pinging me about the about the gag system. Uh, 
that's really funny. That's really funny. So there's a gigantic bug in the Grand Arena ranking system. Let's see here. Sorry, I'm just I'm just seeing some messages I hadn't seen. Okay, there's a couple more cahoots for me. All right, good, good. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go on the cahoot. And let me learn. I'm gonna copy a couple more. This I know we're we're I know we're doing really weird here right now. I'm sorry, everybody. Um, this is gonna be. I just need to make some more messages here. I'm all set. Sorry for the delays. Mostly Average has been a member for five months. Five whole months of being a member might not be around as often anymore, but I still love to see how successful you've been. Keep up the hard work. It'll pay, in the end, pay off in the end, Nooch. I appreciate that, Mostly Average. It's paying off right now, my friend, but it will continue to pay off, and I appreciate the sentiment, my friend. Thanks for the support. Beastman lives member for eight months. Like and subscribe. And also one of our, our mods as well, both on Discord and YouTube. All right, let's get this Kahoot started in five. Four, three, two, one, two free roster views on the line. Let's go! Is music on the coot? Who's here? No, okay, good. In 2017, the fans of which French football team produced this Darth Vader inspired TIFO? That is awesome! Star Roas, Stade Renai, AC Milan, Olympique de Marseille, Manchester United. Well, uh, at least one of these is not in France. If I had to guess, I got a choice between two. Uh, man, that's really cool. We got Stade Renai, Stade Renai. That was a great picture. That was an awesome picture. I love that. I love that. All right, let's go next up here. Jan, did I count you out? Sorry about that, buddy. Hey, this is from Jan. Jan Brand checked in. This is, hang on a second. George Lucas Vineyard Chateau Marquis is located in which French wine region? The Bordeaux, the Beaujolais, the Champagne, the Provence. <laughs> you're gonna get, you're gonna get my French today. So Jan, Jan Burned, who designed the, and put together this this cahoot for us. This French style Kahoot is in chat right now. Thanks for putting this together, Jan. And the answer is Provence. <laughs> We're all gonna learn some things today and this leaderboard's gonna go all over the place because I don't even know if French people knew that. Roderick von Roderick, Nooch 2 cash grab. Awesome. <laughs> Let's see what we got. 18 questions, we're gonna go fast. Qui-Gon Jinn actor Liam Neeson portrayed Jean Valjean in the 1998 adaptation of which Victor Hugo historical novel? The Last Day of a Condemned Man, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Les Miserables, or Hernani? Jean Valjean, guys. I'll turn the music off. Jean Valjean, guys. That was 1998. There was a, and this is the non-musical version. Les Miserables. Uh, so there's the musical version, which had Hugh Jackman in it and Russell Crowe, who didn't sound very hot. How Darth Vader was translated for the French version. Dark Vader, Dark Vador, Seigneur Vador, Seigneur Vader. I, I don't have a clue. But there he is having wine and a... Uh, that is a, a computer-generated image of Darth Vader drinking wine in an orchard. Wow, look at that. I think it's computer-generated. 
Or is that... I can't tell. Look, computer generated. Dark Vador. Okay. Roderick Von Roderick drops out. Fiery and Hazel... Uh, this is up for grabs, guys. Two Ross reviews completely up for grabs right now. With the 27th spot on the all-time French box office, which Star Wars movie performed best in France movie theaters or French movie theaters? Episode 4, A New Hope. Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Episode 1, Phantom Menace. Or Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. I know what I would guess. I know what I would guess. Super Chat won't work for you, James? Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. You'll have to check with your uh, YouTube provider there. I don't have a clue. Uh, are you at least 18? Do you have a credit card or payment method uh, connected to it? Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Wow. That's, I mean, I guess with inflation it's not, but I still would have thought, even without inflation, A New Hope would have been at the very top of it, man. I mean, there, people in France, in France, people in France speak English, so... Oxlane is here! I gotta have him ever hang on a second. In 1987, which French band released Le Empire du Côté Obscur, The Empire of the Dark Side, a song inspired by Star Wars? Was it You Are? Was it Heiss? They are, or I am, and they're pictured right here, I guess, this French band. I have no clue who they are. Let's give a hello to Oxlane. Uh, while we're at it, we'll say hello to Oxlane. Give him a little master's intro since he showed it just to say hello. Give him the good one. I am. There it was. That was for you, Ox Lane. Let's go back to the Kahoot here. The answer was I am. Who's getting it right? Who knows? Actually, most people guess one of the one of two there, so that's interesting. Hello there, Finley White House. Welcome to the Discord and welcome to the stream, Finley. On July 14th, with your beloved Nooch Too Good birthday, what else are the French celebrating? A First World War Armistice, Second World War Armistice, Bastille Day, or the coronation of Napoleon Bonaparte? July 14th is my birthday. It is also this holiday in France. It is also this holiday in France. I am, you are, we are, they is. Bastille Day. Good job, everybody. Well done. Well played. Good job. Darth Cliff and Jesus Dominguez are at the top of the list. Top two in a roster of you today, boys and girls. On June 17th, 1939, which Star Wars actor witnessed the last public execution by guillotine in France? Philip Mortimer Brown, Owen Lars, Peter Cushing, Grandma Tarkin, Alec Guinness, Obi-Wan, or Christopher Lee, Count Dooku. I have a guess. 1939, last public execution by guillotine. Man, that was shortly before the, before the Nazis invaded. Christopher Lee, that's what I would have guessed. That's actually what I would have guessed. I know he had his, uh, history in like the British military slash secret service, and he was kind of a spy, kind of a killer, so... I would have guessed Christopher Lee on that. I didn't know it. In his Dark Lens series, Cedric Del Sal, French photographer, integrates Star Wars ships and characters to or into World War II historical pictures, industrial and urban earthbound areas, fashion shows, or a campaign to promote French gastronomy. <laughs> if it's that, I'm gonna laugh so hard, dude. If it's the gastronomy, okay, it's not. <laughs> I'm picturing like ad ads shredding down beef so you can digest it better in your gastronomy. Indust industrial and earthbound air. All right, cool, nice, nice, nice. All right, man, this is leaderboard. This this is up for grabs, everybody. Which French science fiction comic series is rumored to have been an inspiration for Star Wars? Interesting. Blake and Mortimer, Valerian and Laureline, Spiro and Fantasio, or the Passenger of the Wind. I guess that's a ship that kind of looks like the Millennium Falcon a little bit. I can I can see some similarity there. I don't know the answer. Valerian and Laureline. Valerian and Laureline. All right. Sensuna and David are now topping the leaderboard, but guys. A couple of, just one missed question, two missed, you get two in a row, you just hang in there, hang in there. In a TV interview given to RTS in 1977, Carrie Fisher surprised the audience by replying in fluent French, 
giving an iconic Chewbacca voice imitation, slapping Harrison Ford, or leaving the TV set after a question on her private life. I see three of those being, I can see three of those being, I'm gonna say replying in fluent French. Yep, all right. I could see her slapping Harrison Ford or leaving the TV set. Although she was pretty young and it was pretty early, like later in her life, I think she would have left the TV set, the TV set, baby. Maybe. In 1994, which, in which 1994 movie by French director Luc Besson, a 13-year-old Natalie Portman got a leading role? The Fifth Element, Lucy, The Big Blue, Leon the Professional. I know this answer. But I also know, uh, I know Luke Beeson. I know one of these movies that he directed for sure. Waiting Shadow is here. Waiting Shadow, can you wait till after the Kahoot for your intro? Is that all right? Or do you need it right now? Lay on the professional. I knew that. Fifth Element is also Luke Beeson, which I love Fifth Element. Goban Dallas. So that's my question. Waiting Shadow, can you wait till after the Kahoot? Or do you need to get your intro now? Because if you can wait till after the Kahoot, I'll get you, buddy. I'll get you. What are the blue, white, and red on the French flag representing? The church, the king, the nation, Obi-Wan, Wampa, Darth Vader, Paris, Saint Martin, the nation, Paris, Saint Denis, the Jedi, the Wampa, the Sith, the Roquefort, the Camembert, the wine. <laughs> I'm gonna, I think, I would keep it, <laughs> I would keep it simple on this. All right, I'll get you in a second, Waiting Shadow. Thank you, sir, I appreciate that. Uh, oh, I would have gone the church, the king, the nation, but it's Paris, Saint Martin, the nation, Paris, I don't I don't know what any of that means. I don't know what any of that means. I guess there's divisions in Paris. I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Star Wars A New Hope was first introduced to the French critics in which film festival? Uh Champ Champs Elysees Film Festival, Duville American Film Festival, Cannes Film Festival, La Pe de Hue Film Festival. I have no idea. I mean usually it's Cannes, but it could be the Champs Elysees. Or I, I have no idea. I have no idea. This is nonsense. <laughs> uh, 21. 21 people guessed cons. Two for this is what I'm saying, guys. This quiz is wide open. Two people just made a huge gain here with the Deville American Film Festival. And they may even move up the leaderboard. And the leaderboard didn't change, but the two people that got that right. Hang in there, man. You might get another one here. Star Wars A New Hope only finished second place of the French 1977 box office. Which movie was first in the 1977 box office? The Spy Who Loved Me, King Kong, The Rescuers, or A Bridge Too Far? Were those all released in 1977? I guess it makes sense. I would go with... I'm going to go with James Bond, The Spy Who Loved Me. No, The Rescuers? What?! What? Disney dominating the French box office. Wow. Wow. Look at that. That David Muzes and Suna Don gets into range here. Wow. The rescuers. And because we are so French, we also renamed R2D2 into D2R2 question mark. True or false? Okay, now I know these are CGI. So R2D2 drinking wine. Did they rename R2-D2 into D2-R2? The French hate us because we took the croissant and turned it into a croissant witch. Dennis Leary. I guess it would be, we took the croissant and turned it into a croissant witch. <laughs> Jacob Kleist doesn't do pagan crap. He's calling uh, Christmas pagan crap. I'm telling you guys, Don has moved up like five or eight spaces in the last couple of questions. This is wide open. This is wide open with like th two questions left. True or false? Star Wars main theme by John Williams is built around a melody which is first played by a French horn. I... I think that's false. I think it's a trumpet. True. I don't know. Really? Sounds like a trumpet to me. David and Sinsun at the top. 
and they kind of got it wrapped up. So David and Susuna look like they got this wrapped up. Unless this is a double point question, let's see. A quiz. Padme Amidala actress Natalie Portman married Benjamin Millepied, a famous French pianist, actor, ballet dancer, football, or soccer player. No clue. Swift Blade and Winning Shadows say it's a French horn. They know they're the musicians. I am not. I'm not the musician. James O'Mahony! Welcome to Masters! We'll get you a recognition here in a second, buddy. Ballet dancer! And the wieners are gonna be from myself and from Snips. Cup finishes third. In second place is gonna be Sensuna. Sensuna! And the wiener is... David! Wait a minute, did they? Were those guys at the top before? Was that worth double points and we didn't see it? I don't know. Never let off the gas. Never let off the gas. David Sensuna, you have won. You have won a roster review today. Please put your ally code in chat. We will give you a roster review this happy day. My goodness. There we go with that. Happy, happy. Sensuna and David, give me those ally codes. All right, let's get some intros going here. We got, uh, we, we have... Waiting Shadow, one of our High Council members, Waiting Shadow, has joined the stream. You're, you're not exactly quiet creatures. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Well, that's not good. What do you mean, that's not good? What can we do? What do you want to do? Mm -hmm. And let's say hello to uh, Jack Vinyloom is here. Hey, just let everybody know. Um, hold on a second. Well, I'm loading up Jack Vinyloom. We're going to do a charity stream once again for St. Jude Children's Hospital on December 26th. I'm going to be here in the morning from like 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., something like that. I don't know exactly yet. We're gonna. I got a. I get. I get a day off from my work for Volunteer Day. That my Volunteer Day will be doing a charity stream for St. Jude Children's Hospital, the same as we did back when we got 10,000 subscribers. I don't know if we'll be at 20,000 subscribers. It's possible. But mainly, I just want to do a holiday stream for St. Jude Children's Hospital. It's a great charity. We'll talk more about it coming up on December 26th. Be here or be square for a St. Jude Children's Hospital stream. Jack Vinaloom is here. We shall start with revenge. Revenge. I must have revenge. Kenobi! And then we will say, oh, Count Dooku is here. Sorry, buddy, I missed yours earlier, didn't I? Sorry, Count Dooku. Let's play Count Dooku's intro. Let's respond to Mr. Happy Vader Freeman, who thinks all of my farming guides are complete garbage. My farming paths are stupid. Let's talk to Vader Freeman. Good to see you, Vader Freeman. But let's talk about it. 9,908 points means they got 10 out of 18 questions right. That doesn't mean somebody knew all of that useless knowledge. It just means somebody did really well on the trivia and you did not. You want to rip on them in public? That's fine. You can do that. That quiz was well made. It was a French quiz for French people. You can complain all you want. Nobody makes the quizzes for you, Vader Freeman. But you're welcome to say anything you'd like in public. And we are all welcome to disagree with you and point out that you're just being a crabby pants for whatever reason. Because it seems to me that you do tend to be a crabby pants for whatever reason all the time, my friend. And it's, it's, it's really sad. It's really kind of sad. Let's say hello to our newest Masters level member. His name is James O. Mahoney. James O. Mahoney, would you like your, your roster review today? Disturbing is this move by Chancellor Palpatine. I understand. You are on this council, but we do not grant you the rank of Master. What? Good to see born in Massachusetts, Jason Peterson. Um, do I have ally codes yet? Sensuna, there we go. Sensuna is 599. Uh, five, two, three, one, one, six. David, did I get your ally code yet? I don't see it. Thanks, Zatnold. I appreciate that. David, I need your ally code. You got to put some X's in between the numbers so I can see it because I don't see your ally code. 
So, David, get me your ally code. You'll get your free roster review today from the from the Kahoot, my friend. Where's the with the game today? Uh, da, 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 da. I'm ask a question for the roster review. Let me for let me win every your free, and I can join. You want to know when I'm free? Well, yeah, I got you. So, all right, James, give me your ally code, and I'll let you know when it's coming up. And you can join. You can definitely join on Discord. So I need your ally code, too. So put some X's in the ally codes, guys. Uh, it's going to be 111X222X333, two, 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 three, 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 like that. Put them like that, or I won't see them. So I need David and James Mahoney's ally codes. Evil Walks has made the stream. Let's give him a big uh, shout-out. In the midnight hour, she cried with a rebel yell. In the midnight hour, babe, with a rebel yell. Okay, now guys, we are we are thirty five away. So we need thirty five more subs to hit nineteen thousand. I know we'd all have a lot of fun to hit it on this stream. So if you want to help me out, get your guild mates on here, get them to subscribe, get your friends, neighbors, Romans, countrymen, get them on here. Let's push this thing to 19,000 on the stream today. We can have a lot of fun. I know you guys want to have that fun today. It's always fun to uh, have a little stream celebration, and then we'll be on our way to 20,000 on the stream. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. No, next. I guess it worked for you next. James Omoni, I got you. 863 213 Eight seven nine. James Mahoney, by the way, you're after Opion, so pay attention to that. Can't have an opinion without being called hopeless. If anything is pretty hopeless, you care that's right. <laughs> I love you, man. Peter Freeman, you're like my favorite guy, dude. So <laughs> you have a negative opinion about everything. I, I, that I can you tell me something you love. What do you love, Vader Freeman? I'd love to hear what you love. What is your favorite thing in the world? I, I just give me something positive. I have never heard anything but negative words out of your mouth and on YouTube. So I would love to hear something that you think good about, something that you like, something that you love. What do you love, buddy? Because you seem to hate everything that I say and do. So that's great. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here, man. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love that stuff, dude. I love it. Big Texas, I will give you a link to a video that will describe for you how roster reviews work. The link to the video is also in the description for this video. But here you go. Watch there to learn. Yeah, that is how to get a roster review. That video will help you right there. We're waiting for uh, we're waiting for Vader Freeman to say something positive. He loves Star Wars. <laughs> Vader Freeman loves Star Wars, but he hates yours truly. I love you, buddy. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> it's good to see you. All right, let's go in here. Swift Blade. Swift Blade is ponied up today. Let's see what you got. And, and as a reminder, guys, you are free to join me on my Discord chat. If you want to have a conversation about your roster, we can talk it up and have some fun. All right. <clears throat> Internet equals the great assault of emotions. Yeah, it's, it's part of it. Yeah, it's fine. I'm glad Beta Freeman is here. I really am. And I'm glad he loves Star Wars. Don't we all? That's why we're here, really, right? We love Star Wars. We love it together. <laughs> I love this guy. Okay. Uh, we got Ray. Hey, look at that. Ray! <coughs> There's some memes I want to download. That needs to be one of them. Need to work on that next chance I get. Oh, wait, who's that? Somebody is speaking. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. Who do we got? I heard you a second ago. Swift I'm Blade. Swift Blade. It's Swiftblade, everybody! Let's give a big shout out to Swiftblade. Let me turn the I'm gonna turn the game volume down because I have to turn the desktop audio up and it uh, I wanted I wanted a screenshot of this, but hey guys, don't buy this. I, you're paying like 20 bucks for just a bunch of Zetas. Alright, anyway. 
Hang on, Swift Blade. I'm gonna turn the volume down. We're gonna do your roster review, buddy. That's awesome. I'm telling you, I love this new. I love this new feature. I love this new feature. All right. One sec. All right, Swift Blade. Let me get your roster pulled up, buddy, and we'll take a look at it. So tell me what's going on with it. What's the uh, what should we be looking at here? All right. So a couple. Uh, say like a week ago or so ago, I had a roster review with Fat Phil, and so we were working on my roster. I so I'm working on Ray so far, getting all her Zetas up. I'm working on her ultimate ability. Uh oh, yes sir. I think Swift Blade's in and out. Working on Ray and her ultimate ability got her modded for offense. Are you there, buddy? Yeah, I'm here. I'm sorry. Okay. We lost him again. Right after, right after Ray, I'm going to work on Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Okay, so after Ray's working on Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, Swift Blade's kind of going in I'm and out. I'm going to work on Star Killer and getting a bunch of teams up. Okay. So you bought the, the Lightspeed Bundles last month, right? Yes, I did buy the Lightspeed Bundles. And what has been... So what have you been farming in between? Have you just been working on Ray straight up? Or what has your, been your path since you bought the Lightspeed Bundles? I'm working on a Executor right after Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Okay. Let's see here. So you've been farming, like, Executor ships and stuff in the meantime? I have been trying to, as best as I can. Okay. Now, where's that IG-2000? I don't see it. Yeah, I'm still working on him. Okay. And the TIE Bomber, right? Yes. Okay. All right. So, here's what we got. Um, you look like I you've have... been playing for maybe a year or so. Would that be accurate? Yes. Okay. That is correct. All right. So, we got Swift Blaze. Yeah. I just spit all over the place. Sorry. So, we got Swift Blaze been playing about a year. And on his own, had, had relic of Grandmaster Yoda, Jedi Knight Revan, um, Darth was going out to Revan's, okay? So it was a Revan farming path. The Lightspeed Bundles come out last month. He buys the Ray pack. He buys the Kylo pack. He buy, he bought everything. And so now he's farming those things and working on it. And Ray is active, getting her Zeta as an ultimate, going to do Kylo, and then and also uh, um, and also Starkiller and the Executor. It makes total sense, man. I mean, that's exactly... If you farm those packs and you were where your roster was, that's what you should be doing. I'm gonna look at your Jedi here to see how that's performing. Your Jolly Bindo's gear 12, so you could use a relic on him. Um, but I think you probably know that. Yeah, I'm working on Bastila and Jolie. What about Darth Malik on and Bastila Sean Fallen on the dark side? I will be working on them as well. I have them saved up here at the top from in my roster to get them reliced. All right, well, how are your mods looking, sir? So I see, uh, oh, no. I see a speed set on Darth Revan with 32 speed? You have to tell me what's going on here, sir. Um, so I haven't had much. I've, so I've been working on mods. Uh, I've got a really good mod set on Ray. Any mods that I uh, have been switching around, I've been safekeeping right now. I'm working on my mods, trying to get more speed um, for both my Revans, for my Bastila's. And so, if when I can get enough mods, and when I get enough speed mods, um, I will put them on my Basilos, my Revens, and maybe um, try to fix my Grandmaster Yoda mods for my uh, Jedi Knight Revan team, and go from there. All right, so um, I understand you're working on it. You're still going to get a fixer mods. I'm going to drop it right now. Take these two over to the garage, will you? I want them cleaned up for dinner. But I was going into Toshi Station to pick up some power converters. First, you've got to fix your mods. Certainly no ill will meant here, but yeah, your your mods are, are they're pretty yeah, rough. I totally they're understand. Pretty rough. <laughs> yeah. Have you done some homework on mods to see how they're working? Have you watched I, the mods playlist? Or, have, or is I this just like you did some mods at the beginning playlist. without one knowing what you're doing, and now you're kind of recovering from that? Or what's the story with your mods? So when I like first started the game, when I first unlocked mods, I, I didn't know what mods were. I like I did not understand. So I randomly threw mods on random characters and thought, hey, this could work. Um, but after 
after a little while, I started to wonder um, how much my ro mods really meant on my characters. And so I started to watch your mods videos. I started watching Fatville's mods videos. And I've, like, I've started to learn a lot. And I think I'm really starting to progress with my mod um, understanding. And it's been helping me out, especially since I'm working on, you know, on my Galactic Legends and all. So I hope with due time I can fix all my mods. All right, so you're working on it, and that's not a bad thing. So we're gonna, I'm going to leave it alone. We're going to leave it there. So uh, tell me, Swiftblade, what's your Star Wars story? How did you uh, how did you fall in love with Star Wars? How did you come across this game? How did you uh, what's that journey? Um, so back in 2018, my uncle he was um a graduate student of the University of Kentucky. He was um he was trying to get his doctorate um medicine, do all these things, and he introduced me to Star Wars. Uh, we went to go watch Solo when it first came out. And I had a little bit of prior knowledge to watching Solo. Like, I knew who Darth Maul was. I knew who you know, your basic Episode Four characters were. I knew them. And I saw Darth Maul for the first time, you know, on live um, in theater. And I, like, I really fell in love with the character. I love Darth Maul. And I, I, I got hooked. And I went home. And I watched Episodes 1 through 6. I, I had to. Because... Like, me, I am a big Star Wars nerd now. Um, and I, I just fell in love with the entire, um, all the movies, all the characters. And so after that, you know, I, I met a friend who was also really into Star Wars. And he introduced me to all these Legends characters, like Revan and I. Like, I immediately lo fell in love with Revan. I, um, I've picked up the game, um, because he introduced me to it. And I, like, so going into the game unlocking like all these galactic republic characters and i just fell in love with it and after a while I, n I noticed you know the journey guides and everything and i saw both jedi knight revan and darth revan and i thought that was my first goal was to get these two characters and ever since then i just you know i've fallen in love with star wars and i you know i won't hate on anything like you know the disney star wars i think that you know there could be improvements but all in all, I mean, it's, it's, I think everything is, I, I think everything is great. I mean, just, I don't see any negatives to things because I don't think uh, people focus too much on the positives. And so with that, I go into my Star Wars journey and try to make the most of what I can. Swiftly, that's an awesome story. I think you're the first person I, I've talked to whose first Star Wars experience was Solo. Was that the first Star Wars movie you'd ever seen? Yes, that was the first Star Wars movie I've ever seen. I, you were the first person I've ever met, and that was their first movie. And then you said you saw Darth Maul and fell in love with the character. It's like, he's in that movie for what, 10 seconds or something? Just the eerie feeling and uh, his presence. Just I, like I knew he was like a villain, and I just, I don't know. I, like, I felt like he was something, a force to be reckoned with. And I just really loved that. Man, that's awesome. I'm so glad. I, I'm kind of a solo fanboy. I, I don't think it's like at the top of the best of the movies, but I think it's better than most people think it is. So I love hearing this. I love your story. It's very unique. Um, I love how you went from solo to the Revens, and that's your Star Wars journey. You started playing the game. Swift Blade, you're on here all the time. I'm glad you came on for a voice chat. This is tremendous. I'm glad to be talking with you today. Um, any parting thoughts for us about the game or anything else? Um, well, I think that people, well, I think people focus too much on, you know, all the, um, I, I would say, uh, kind of, hold on, one second, um, uh, they focus on too much of the politics on Star Wars, and instead of doing that, I feel like everyone should focus on really enjoying what they, you know, what they love, and if that, you know, happens to be, you know, the prequels, the original trilogy, or the sequels, I feel like it doesn't matter, uh, but I feel like people should just, you know, do what they love, and I think everything will be okay. Basically, chill out a little bit. Dif people love different parts of Star Wars. If you didn't like it, that doesn't make the other person wrong. It's just their opinion. Exactly. All right, cool, man. Swift Blade, I'm glad you came on, buddy. It's really good to talk to you. I'm really enjoying your roster. I look forward to seeing your roster in, like, two or three months when you've got much, much much, much, much better mods across the across the the uh, across whole roster. But man, 
Um, have some fun getting Ray and Kylo here. And uh, thanks for that. I, I love this conversation. That was a lot of fun. We'll talk to you later. Thank you. All right, sir. Well, there you go. There was Swift Blade. That was awesome. That was fun. I, I I love this. I love talking to you guys. I love talking. Let's go to Ethan High School here. Is Ethan going to jump on? I know I actually did an actual dad talk with Ethan back in the day. I think, right? Didn't we do a dad talk? But Ethan High School, let's see what you got. 736-978-576. Let's see what you got. How are my subs looking right now? It is moving a little bit. We still at 18. We need 33 more on stream. I don't think I don't we don't feel I don't feel the sub momentum on this stream. You know, usually on a stream you can kind of feel it if the subs are going crazy. And it's just just kind of today it's not really pushing through there so much. So we'll see. We'll see if the slow and steady will get us there or uh or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see if we get there. Ethan High School has joined uh voice chat. Let's hear it, Ethan. Hello, hello. What is up, How sir? You? How's it going? Doing well. How long ago was our dad talk? Ooh, uh, he was March or April or May, I believe. Okay, that's been a couple months. Yeah, it's been a little while. Was it? Um, and let me hang on a second. I'm writing this down. I'm writing these down so I can put timestamps in for you guys. So you can share and whatever, but. Um, is this, is it, this is the same roster we talked about, right? I remember the E Smith. It is. Yeah. Yep. Same roster. Well, let's take the a man look. of many names. <laughs> All right. So what's going on? What's the history? Where have you been in the last few months and what's the, what are the goals? Well, light speed as always messed up some stuff, but where I'm sitting right now is I am waiting on the executor event to come around. I'm working on, uh, mods for the bounty hunters, getting them ready to go. And, um, I'm working on farming the negotiator fleet and, getting the last few relics on the ray requirements as well as waiting on the radis event and other than that i'm kind of sitting waiting for things to happen i've got most of the characters starred for gas and most of them for darth revan um but still unsure of where to go after that because like the gut tells me that there could be bundles for ray or gas which may just want to go off to the newer shiny stuff they seem to be pushing people towards right um, as opposed to hitting uh specifically darth revan right now i i could see him coming in the next six months or so i agree with that you know um and we'll see what these new light speed bundles come out with but it looks like there's a palpatine and, and thrawn bundle and i took a poll yesterday and and that one won on on my stream yesterday which tells me there's a lot of new players watching this channel that could would definitely buy a Darth Revan bundle for sure. So um absolutely and I'd even buy the Phoenix bundle because like I said with Leia down the pipeline eventually having a, a relic team to go with uh Captain Rex as well as the profundity hitting some of the profundity requirements would be helpful. Yep. Too, yep. So so you, you do need to relic up your Cad Bane and and BAM for sure. Are you working on that? Not at the moment. I need to, but they are they are they are on the, they are, I'm aware of it. <laughs> they okay. need to get there. Okay. Um, let's take a look here. So the executor's coming here in seven days. So next, it's one week exactly. You'll be ready for executor. Ooh. Um, and what else is, so you did Kylo, but you didn't buy the Ray pack this time, right? That's what I heard. Or I bought, the only packs I bought this time around were um, the Radis, the J, JTR, and the, I bought the three resistance packs, essentially. Okay. So you, I, I, I guess I heard wrong. So you will be doing a race. You're on Ray now, right? Yes. Yep. I'm okay. finishing up a few more relics on JTR and the last one will be BB eight. And then like one more star on Radis. Okay. Now my second farming question is, are you farming Zori bliss every day? Not every day. When I have extra energy though, it is going towards her. Okay. Yeah. She'll be a double drop. What? When did she come out? Like February? I feel like she came out, came out at the beginning of last year. Yeah, she should be coming before long to a double drop. The yeah. single drop just hurts so bad. <laughs> now, do you have any Zetas saved up for Ray, or are you Zeta poor now that you've done all these other I, ones? I have 120 Zetas that I'm not going below until I get Ray. So have you so been sitting on Zetas pile. forever? Not forever, no. this is uh, I've been saving them since um, the Lightspeed bundles came out. So I've been slowly stockpiling, and then just... I'll spin down to 120, and then whenever I get back up, so I'll, I'll get some more Zetas. You were already you did Kylo on your own. Then it looks like I guess I I'm, yes okay yeah. 
Because whenever yeah, I, I see... I did Kylo and Starkiller on my own. Got and it. And then the packs came out. Got it. Okay. Sorry, you pre- you were explaining that. I was trying to I was trying to flip through your roster while you're explaining, and it didn't work. That I didn't hear everything you said. So, yeah. So no you worries. got the when I see first order type out and special forces at, at relic three, I know you did it on your own. So okay, and then Starkiller was on your own too. All right. So what are your plans um, after Executor and Ray? I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe gas or slowly start working my way towards. Um, uh, kind of the, the trio that you had talked about a couple months ago, the, the Luke, Jabba, and Leia start my way that way. I'm not sure yet. Well, I also for want Gas, Darth Revan and Algus, but yeah. I'm sitting here like, who knows? I mean, for Gas, on the Galactic Republic side, it's only Shock T that you got to gear up. Let's look at those Separatist droids. And you got to gear up the Separatist droids too, it looks like. Yeah, they're not, they're not, they're start up, but not relic up or leveled up. That would not be a horrible journey for you at all, really, because you've already got them all at seven stars, so it's just gear you're farming. And, you know, the cool thing about farming gear is you can farm character shards for other stuff. Um, Like, maybe you can start farming character shards for Leia or uh, Jedi Knight Luke or something, so you can go get, you know, start that triumvirate later. So I think gas would be a really good option for you at at this point, after you finish Ray and the, uh, or excuse me, yeah, Ray and the uh, Executor. That what about a good idea. yeah? I'm currently I'm currently saving my crystals, trying to hoard up for the executor event. So okay. that's it's kind of stunting my uh, um, my growth at the moment. But it'll be it'll be worth it once that event rolls around and I can get a few extra runs in. I get it, and uh, and I I I can relate. Wampa and and Savage, you know, it looks like you got them on the line too. So I understand though. That's the same thing I'm doing on my account. Is I'm saving crystals for the. Uh, Leviathan event, and it is definitely I'm kind of holding back in some areas I'd like to keep going. Um, but yeah, you know, the, I mean, your roster is in good shape. I would, I would prioritize if I was you, the Mandalorian and Cad Bane relics. Um, okay. Just because that'll make your executor that much better. But I also think that gas would be a really good choice for you, and you, you could even. I, I know you're talking about. The you know um, the Pentaveret the, the five way farm but you're not that far off from Jedi Master Kenobi either you got a seven star Watt Tambor so Jedi Master Kenobi wouldn't be a horrible idea for you either. That's something I hadn't thought about. Yeah, that's not not a bad idea at all. And I'm not almost done with Cat, but she's my furthest along Proving Grounds character, so that wouldn't be terrible either. Yeah, I, what what I would do with that is see how long it takes to get to through Ray. And um, and to get through um, the executor and see where you're sitting. And let me look at your separatist right now. So, yeah, we got what? I mean, I don't, I don't think that the, a path like going gas into Jedi Master Kenobi is a horrible choice for you. Because probably by the time you do a Ray, executor, gas, I'm guessing based on what you said, you'll probably have Cat at seven stars by that point. And... Maybe you do Jedi Master Kenobi and it all kind of flows into each other. That could work. All right. Let's take a look at some mods. How are your mods? Uh, Improving slowly. Um, They're okay on most characters, uh, at least the ones that are... The Resistance, I I haven't touched them. They are terribly modded. Um, But most of the characters that I built um, are decent enough uh, for for what I need them right now for right now. You dropped a lot of speed on these offense mods on Starkiller, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not a bad. I mean, you know, is he crushing uh, Galactic Legends for you in Grand Arena? Uh, every time except for this last one. I flubbed the C counter with him, but 3v3 is always tricky for me. Yeah, 3v3. But usually, yes. Yeah, it's tricky for everybody. Tricky for everybody. All right, man. So uh, tell us again. I know we've heard it before, but I'm sure we've forgotten in the last uh, nine months. What's your Star Wars story, and how did you come upon this game? Also, yeah, well, the, the Star Wars story. I we had gone down to see some family members that lived out of state, and they had a, a box set of all six movies and on VHS, sitting on the the entertainment center. And so uh, I probably wasn't four or five, but I didn't let us leave that family's house until I watched. The, the first one because in my mind you had to start with phantom menace because that's number one um at least that was what the box said so i watched phantom menace there and it was just off to the races and then i guess the biggest um like 
formative for me was the Clone Wars. I grew up when that show was coming on. I would watch it every week when it came on TV. Um, and so that that had a big impact as well as like some of my close family members around here being really big into star Wars. And so, um, whenever I got, whenever this game came out, um, a cousin of mine was playing it and I tried to get into it and just didn't stick at first. This was probably back when it came out like 20 shortly after. And then I came back to it, I guess it's been three years now. Um, and just picked it up and it's just been, um, nose to the grind with it just because i i enjoy it i've enjoyed the people i play it with i enjoy being a part of this community and so it's just stuck really well and with a busy lifestyle now that i'm graduated with co- graduated from college i have a i have a job I don't have as much time for traditional gaming um so it, it fits in there nicely um to supplement whenever i on days that i can't sit down in front of the pc or the playstation and play some so that's kind of the the abridged uh star wars story for me yeah, that makes sense, man. We've talked about it with a lot of people that a lot of people picked this game up when they were teenagers, left the game because, you know, they're they're off playing COD or, or Battlefront 2 or whatever. And then when you get older, you get a job, you get a family. It's just the, the amount of time you have to commit to play one game of those or to really get in a good session, you just don't have that time to commit anymore. So you can pull up the toilet game like Galaxy Heroes, go play it on the toilet, and boom, you're good to go. So um, Yeah, I can't tell you the amount of times I'll sit down in front of something, I'll turn a game on, like, I'm just too tired for this, and turn it right off and go play this and just sit on the couch and chill. Right, so. right. Um, and, and one farming here, Vader Freeman mentions, and I, I agree with him actually, you know, and this can be along the way, you know, when you do when you do your gas farm, if you go into that, um, really think about that. you got to bring General Grievous up with that as well. You've got to have Grievous yeah. with both of his Zetas on that battle droid team to, to really lead them. And I would start to think about, since, since it's going to be a little ways for you, you know, start thinking about that malevolence. I don't know if you're... Mm-hmm. Your negotiator is seven stars, so I hope you're farming malevolence now, right? I am, and so once the way I'm gonna hopefully hoping to work it is once I get the last two or three, I'm starting to farm the Marauder now, so that's um, that's adding to the list. But once those, I think it's I think I have Y Wing, uh, Anakin Starfighter, and Marauder left for well, and Rex, but I, I have to buy Rex shards. Um, once those are done, I'm gonna switch over and do Hyena Bomber and uh, what's the normal one called? The other one, um, and build up malevolence. I am putting my crystals towards not crystals. The uh, is it Mark Two? Get yeah, get two currency towards malevolence now. So all right, man. You know it's funny when you were telling your 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 story about your family went to somebody's house and you popped in Phantom Menace on the VHS and you wouldn't leave the house. I can picture a five year old an hour into Phantom Menace. And the family's like, it's time to go. And he's like, I got to watch the rest of this. And he forces his family to hang out for another, you know, 70 minutes to watch the entire movie. Is that what happened? Yeah. I, I can't remember, but I know that I, I know I have made my family, or at least my dad, let me watch it before we left. We were staying for like a weekend. So I was like, we have to watch this before we leave. We yep. go home Monday. Yep. That's really funny, but, man. That's really funny. Well, Ethan High School, any, uh, any words for everybody? Any parting words here at the end of this review? Oh, gosh. Uh Enjoy the game. Enjoy. Meet people along the way, uh, and don't sweat the small stuff. And uh, farm what you love. That's I, why the Star Killer was mine, and then it ended up biting me in the butt because I could have bought it for fifty bucks, but I had fun along the way, so it was worth it. There you go, man. I could not agree more. Thanks for jumping on, Ethan. It's good to talk to you again after all this time, buddy. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. All right, man. We'll talk to you again down the road. Always here on the streams. Always active in Discord. Good to talk to Ethan High School again. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right, we got Opion One coming up. Vader Freeman says, I'm going to give you a genuine question. Don't you think you're putting too much trust into your chat with the Discord server? I mean, anyone could join and say anything they want. Yeah, that's why we have mods um, who who field complaints. And uh, so what would you like me to do? Not have a Discord server? Is that what you're saying? Should I shut down Discord? It's it's kind of a great place for the community to get together and and talk. Are you mean on, on the stream? I trust people. I, I'm I'm a guy, and, and I'm I pay for it sometimes. Um, I'm a guy, and look, by the way, let's give it. Let's give a little intro to Chris Hardy here for joining the stream right now. Um. I'm a, I, I'm a guy, I default to trust. I default to trust. And you, so 
most people that I meet or come across or I meet online, I meet in person, whatever, I'm automatically going to give you trust. Um, now, you betray that trust and you're going down and I'm done and we're out and I probably won't bother with you anymore at all. So I'm willing to accept that that's who I am, it's who I've always been. Um, and uh, yeah, so I trust people to come on the Discord and have an adult conversation it's possible somebody will come on, come on there and pop off. It is definitely possible, but um, yeah, that's it, it. May happen someday. It is what it is. But I default to trust in this community and the people that come on to uh, come on and have have an adult, reasonable conversation with me on Discord. So uh, that's how I look at that. All right, uh, let's take a look at Opion here. Let's take a look at Opion here. Let's go. 564-392-258. What you got, Opion? Thanks, Swift Blaze. Good to talk to you today. Farming Leia, SLKR, then have a backup of Darth Revan, Malgus, Jedi Revan. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's read this. <coughs> Opion. Farming Leia to SLKR. Then I have a backup of Darth Revan, Malgus, Jedi Revan, Zori, Grievous and Fleet, Aiden, also Trooper Moff, Malakos, unlocked this week too, and have no idea what to prioritize. Well, we all could have figured out <laughs> figured that out by reading your message. You have no idea what to prioritize. <laughs> all right, so let's take a look here. So you got Jabba the Hutt. And and Ray, all right. So we've already farmed Ray. We need her ultimate, and then you're going to SLKR. So the Lightspeed bundles came out. You bought the Lightspeed bundles. You farmed Ray. You've got her. There's for there's uh, there's your first order. All right, all right. Let's take a look here. Life is pain. Uh, I'm not going to spend all day talking about. I run the risk of the channel being banned every time I say the every time I say somebody killed somebody. You know, we say, "Ooh, Darth Vader just killed Luke." I mean. For some reason, YouTube has a thing about that word and other words, like you can't say gun, but you can say pew pew. I, whatever, man. It's so stupid. It's like, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Anyway, um, all right. So, um, assume positive intent. King of the Who? Well, what are we doing? I, I, I can't look at chat. I can't look at chat. Vader Freeman, I, I hope that you are in, um, I hope that you work a, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A, um, like a corporate governance or, um, what's the word I'm looking for? <sighs> Not governance, but, um. Compliance. Vader Freeman, I've met so many people like you in compliance. And this is and I, and I don't hate you. I hate compliance. And the reason is no answer is ever good enough. I I, I used to be on calls and it's why I, I got out of senior management. It's it's why when I got laid off for some of my senior manager job, by the way, James O'Mahoney, you're next after this review. I I I was let go from my previous senior management job at a major bank in the mortgage business. And I was miserable because I spent, I, I was on three, four, five compliance calls a day. And they were just like this conversation with Vader Freeman. No matter what I said on those calls, it was never good enough for them. It was never, what no matter what I committed to, no matter what my team did, no matter what we did, compliance was never, ever, ever, ever satisfied. And I hated that job with the passion, with the white hot passion of a thousand sons. And the fact that I got YouTube going and earning some income there enabled me to step back and just take a, just an individual job at a company that I'm very happy doing. But if you're never going to be satisfied with an answer, Vader Freeman, then, you know, what's the deal? Why, what's even the point? So I'm glad you're here, buddy. You're allowed to say what you want. I'm not going to continue the conversation because you're never going to be satisfied with my answers to your questions. So there you go. Hey, Gorpy! Guys, 
Welcome, Nooch Jr. to the stream, Gorpy! Compliance does suck, bro. <laughs> Learning early. Gorpy has written... Do I have any music going right now? I don't have any music on, do I? Let's play an old classic. Let's play the old classic Gorpy music right now. Big Mix 1, let's reload it up. This is your Gorpy music right now. Let's play it here. Let's play it a little louder for everybody. Gorpy wrote all this music, everybody. Now, I've, I've switched the channel over to like half Gorpy and half some stuff from, uh, from uh, what are they called? The bros, the Heatley bros that I find on YouTube. So it's kind of a mix now, but Gorpy has written for three years. All the music on the channel was Gorpy, and then I kind of expanded over to some more stuff. So welcome aboard, Gorpy. Thanks for writing all the music, buddy, and look forward to have more of it coming uh, coming down the pipe. Good to see you. Good to see you, bud. See you at Christmas. All right, what do we got? Oxlane has made the stream. Let's give a master's level intro to Oxlane. Master, 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 master. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, Vader Freeman giving people bad ideas. That's awesome. Thanks, Vader. Gorpy's gonna relic Ugnot, everybody. Okay, so uh, we're looking at Opion. <laughs> Let's look back at that message that I, I is just too. There's so uh, chat's going crazy today. Um, I mean, <laughs> going Leia to SLKR. So let's look at your Leia farm here first. Uh, Rex is done. Ewok's done. Um, looking for Lobot. Drogon, Akbar, R2, working on them right now. Okay, where's Lobot? Did I miss Lobot? No. And then I'm gonna go look at Imperial Trooper. All right, so, uh, where is. Oh, there he is. Scout Trooper's done. All right, nice. I see you're in really good shape here for Leia. Like, Leia's right around the corner for you. Like, maybe just a couple weeks to Leia. Okay, and then SLKR. I mean, that's a lot of farming you do. Even though I know that you're right around the corner from these guys, it's not like it's no farming for you to do. Uh, okay, so we got Shuttle, TIE Silencer, First Row TIE Fighter. Make sure to farm, make sure to get the Special Forces TIE up and get that TIE Echelon. Keep farming that. So you get that uh, you get that executor counter. We get it to seven stars. So, um, okay. So, I mean, after you get done with that, I, I'll talk about the I'll talk about chat in a minute. I didn't know today was just going to be a discussion of what I should and shouldn't be doing with my channel. I love this community, guys. I, I just, I, I really do. You, I, I'm going to assume you're all wonderful people until you tell me otherwise. So, sheesh. That is not the same Newt's Jr. Different Newt's Jr. Different Newt's Jr. So, all right, let's keep going here. So, Leia and then Kylo and then what's next? What's after Leia and Kylo? Um, well, you got Grievous at, at there, and you got the Malevolence of Five Stars. You should be farming Hyena Bomber and Vulture Droid every day. Get those guys done. Get those get those ships done. Make this fleet work. Make your Malevolence fleet great again. I like this. Marauders in there. Negotiator. Okay, I like that. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, farm the Hyena Bomber and the, uh, and the Vulture Droid every day, please. Get that done. You got gas. Let's look at Separatists here. Well, Wat Tambor's done. <laughs> You're in good shape for a lot of stuff. You really are. Jedi Knight Luke is done.
Rebel Y-Wing is at four stars. So make sure you're farming the Rebel Y-Wing because you're going to need it for Luke. And I'm probably going to tell you to go do Luke next, honestly. Because it's not, you know, Jedi Knight Luke to Jedi Master Luke is not a long trip, but you're working on a job. Oh, you got a job. Okay. I would say Jedi Master Luke is next for you. That's what I would say. I'd say go get Jedi Master Luke. For sure. For sure. Guten Abend, Pascal Mola. I, I, that's what I think. Go get Jedi Master Luke. And... I mean, do you have Revens? You know what I'm going to say. Come on, man. You know what I'm going to say here. Come on, dude. Okay. Jedi Master Luke and then Revens. So farm the Rebel Wiving every day. Get Jedi Master Luke. You go, you're gonna go to, you're gonna go through, finish off Ray. Go get your Kylo. Get your Jedi Master Luke. Jedi Knight Revan team. He goes with Jedi Master Luke. Jedi Revan goes with Jedi Master Luke team. And then get your Darth Revan and get your Darth Malgus and put together your, or excuse me, Darth Revan, Darth Malak and put together your Darth Malgus team. And that's what we get going together. That's what you put together and that's what you do. Um, Opion, I, that's, I mean, that's cl very clear to me that that's the path your roster should take. Very clear to me that that's your path. So we got speed mods here. It looks like you're doing good for speed. Any other questions, Opion? Am I missing something? Oh, that's a lot of speed on Bush Leia. Nice. Really nice. Really nice. Boba Fett. That's a pretty fast Boba Fett. I don't think I'd have Boba Fett modded for speed. Is there a reason you got this done? I, I think I'd move these speed mods if somebody could really use it and just put crit damage onto Boba Fett. I would use a straight crit damage set. I wouldn't do that. Uh, he's really, he's too fast. You don't need Boba Fett that fast. I get the idea you want him to take turns and stuff, but that's not really helping you. You could put that speed set, you know, switch it over to, to Dash Rendar or Bosk, or, I don't know, um, even like, I don't know. I don't know, but I just, I don't know, uh, yeah, Colonel Stark, but I don't know that Boba Fett, I, Boba Fett really wants a crit damage or offense full set on there is what I would go with, so... But yeah, you're looking good, but I would definitely go Jedi Master Luke and then get your Revens and Malak done and go in there with your... You'll add a Jedi Knight Revan to your Jedi Master Luke, Jedi Master Luke squad. Then you'll add Darth Malak and you'll get that Darth Malgus team going as well. So that's where we're looking there. And uh, James O. Mahoney, I'm uh, coming up to you here in a second. So if you want to join voice chat, get in there. Get in there, my friend. All right. Since we're engaging Vader Freeman's stuff here today. Um, by the way, we have 165 folks on only 64 likes. Do the liking and subscribing. Please make Mrs. Nooch a happy camper today. Like and subscribe, everybody. We um we are at right now. Let's see where we are with subs. Oh, I think we got James O'Mahoney on. Just one second here. We'll talk to him. Okay, guys. We are 30 subs short right now. We are 30 subs short, 18,970. Can we get 30 more subs on the stream? Can people's friends and neighbors and relatives join in us and, and, and subscribe today? So, all right, let's say hello to James O'Mahoney, everybody. James, how you doing today? Good. Not too bad yourself. Doing good. Get a lot of background noise. Boy, you sound like a guy named James O'Mahoney. <laughs> um, all right, little, uh, little, uh, little Irish humor there. Are you Irish? I am, yeah. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, yeah. what's your story, man? What's going on with the roster? Oh, I got it. Wait, let me, let me get your roster pulled up first. So, as I'm pulling up your roster, tell us what's going on with it, what you're farming, what your goals are, and what we're looking at today. Oh, I'm on J farming JMK at the moment. I just have a Cody left to gear, and then it's a five characters left to relic. So, I think I have uh, Django at five. And then, uh, what at one? Hey, Someone James. Sergeant, that... Yeah. Can you turn the volume Hello? of my stream down or mute my stream? Sorry, I'm, I'm out at the moment, so. No, that's no problem. I think that's what we're hearing in the background. Yeah. Uh, if you can give me, if you can come back to me in 20 minutes, I'll be at home, so. You want to do 20? Okay. I can, yeah, we'll wait 20 yeah. minutes. We'll come back, yeah. okay? Yeah, no problem. 
<laughs> All right, sir. Well, let's take a look. I don't think I ever got David's... David, are you in chat? David, you won a Kahoot roster review, and I don't remember ever seeing your ally code. So I'm going to go into... We're going to take a look at... Um, let me see your Oxlane. Oxlane, yeah, you can jump in for your, your review today. Give me your ally code. I'm still looking for David's ally code. I don't see it. I need some X's in there. So anyway, let's see here. Um, let's look at Sensuna right now. Sensuna, are you here? Sensuna, can you hear me? There's Sensuna. Got Jared. There's Ray right there for Sensuna. All right. So, David, if you're on, I need your ally code, buddy, because I haven't seen it in chat. And if you put it out there, I apologize. Chat's been pretty busy today. Pretty spicy chat today. But I need to see your David. So, uh, I need, David, I need to see your ally code. Sensuna's here. Uh, Alderanian Tourism Board. Ha 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 ha. Come to Alderaan. We've got heat like you can't imagine. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. That's hilarious. All right, let's see. Um, so we got uh, 3.4 million. He just unlocked Ray. Did he buy both bundles or buy a bunch of bundles? Let's take a look here. So we got the first order bundle. We got everything, all the uh, all the resistance bundles and the Radis bundle, and I think also purchased the Star Killer bundles. My guess. There's Kyle Katarn. Yep, we got it. You got it. So, all right. Yep. So bought all the bundles. Farmed Ray, who's the easiest one to farm. And uh, let me take a look here. Radis is five stars. There we go. How's your first order fleet looking right now? Pretty shabby. Have you been farming these? Waiting Shadow. See ya, buddy. Enjoy your session. Um, let's see. So, have you been... Uh, Sensuna, you grinded the Star Killer. Well, I, I'm with you on that. That's the way to go, man. If you farm those packs. Oh, you grind. Oh, you di really? You didn't buy the Star Killer? It really looks like you bought. Oh, cool. Hey, man. So Star Killer is all you. Good job, man. Good job. So, um, yeah, your first order ships are really behind. Like, if you buy so guys, there's an SLKR bundle that's coming out. We believe, um. If you buy the bundle, if you're gonna buy that bundle, start farming the first order ships now. Like farm those first order ships now. Get ready for that SLKR bundle. Don't don't wait on it. Hopefully you've got these farmed and just not activated. You finished Starkiller four days for that. <laughs> That's awesome. How do you feel about that, Sensuna? Were you upset? Or was it fine with you? Or or what was the story? Um so let's see here. Uh, you gotta farm these ships. I mean, you gotta farm these ships. You're really not close to Finalizer, and therefore you're not close to Kylo at all. Yeah. Um, you're not close to Kylo at all. I need a little snack here, everybody. Hang on. You feel like you saved 50 bucks? There you go. That's a good feeling. That's the right way to feel about it. You're just getting upset about the past because you already farmed it, guys. You have no control over the packs. Don't really freak out. It's not worth freaking out over. You just farmed whatever, and now there's a light speed bundle. Hey, 25 more subs. 25 more subs we need today, guys. Let's get it done. Can we, can we do it? We've only gained 17 since the stream started, so I don't know if we can pull this off, but 25 more. Almost there, ma'am. Um. Well, let me see your executive farm. So what I would say is this. The executor farm overlaps with the finalizer farm. 
don't neglect these first order ships. Or you could, or I guess, you know what? I guess you could just buy the finalizer bundle. It's, it's gonna come out. So you could just buy the finalizer bundle. So that's not a bad idea, right? All right. So we're going to get Ray done, Executor, and then Kylo. It's pretty clear. I like it. I like it. Let's look at some mods. Thrawn is either really fast or your roster is really slow. <laughs> mm, I think it's the latter. Well, okay. Sorry, guys. I had to get some food in my belly. So, I get this. You, you know what? You're doing a good job. You're doing a good. Uh, let me let me say you're doing a good job here. So, let's look at this. Here's a green mod, and it, that's a great mod to try and upgrade some more. You've already had two on speed. That's a great mod to keep and try to go. And the same thing here. This is a great mod to keep and try to upgrade some more. This purple mod, just leave it alone. Move on with your life. But you've done a good job. You've six dotted the mods that make the most sense. Fifteen speed there. 18 speed. So good job managing your mods. That's smart. After that part of you is considering jumping into the five point grind. Well, we'll take a look at this and let you know. Um, let's look at Mara Jade. Do we still say belly? Get in my belly! Alright, so how fast is Mara Jade? She's doing all right. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, I, you're, you're on the mod train. You're working on something you hadn't worked on before. It's still a pretty new account, but make sure to farm mods three times a day. Just make sure to keep that going. Make sure to keep that going. Now, what should you do next? So you're going to do Kylo. You're going to do Executor and then Kylo. What should be next for you? Let's get rid of the speed here uh, I would I would round out your CLS team is what I would do CLS Chewbacca Han Solo 3PO finish off 3PO and get start farming 2PO now that's bad that's a great that's a team you're neglecting and it's not a that's not a good move yeah, I would I would do your CLS team next, man. Hmm. I would I'd be doing CLS. Let's see your Ewoks here. Yeah, make sure you're farming Wicket and Chirpa so you can get 3PO um 3PO done. And uh yeah, definitely. That's what I, that's your next step is, is CLS. Is David here? Does anybody see an ally code from David in chat? Because I have not seen it. And I feel bad that he won the Kahoot. And he's not going to get a roster review. Did he... Wait, wait, wait. Did David... Is, is that what this is? No. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think David has pinged me on, on Discord or anything. I'm trying to see if... Some nice folks don't want to give it on on here, though. No, but I don't see it. Hmm. Yeah, well, David, um... 
post this stuff hours ago? Well, I can't see it. I wish he was still here. And I can't... I never saw it. I guess I could try and play the stream and go back and find it, but man, I don't think I can do that. Let's see if I can find David's ally code. I'm probably gonna end up owing David an ally a Ross review because I never saw his ally code. Chat kind of blew up today, um, which is a good thing. You know, everybody's out there talking and having some conversations about how YouTube works and how I'm not doing a good job, which is I always enjoy that. <laughs> Mensa, Mensa was mentioned in this chat. <laughs> Yeah, I can't find it. Um, I see Sensuna. And I just never saw David's. No. There's where I typed how to enter it. I see James. I'm not finding it, guys. That's I'm not saying you didn't put it in there. I'm not I'm not finding it. Maybe I couldn't see it because of how it was typed in. That's all I can think of. David, all right, I got you. Thank you. Golly. 6282369 or thank you everybody. Thanks Zatanol for putting it in there. Thank you, David. Thank you Zatanol. Thank you, David. Thanks, guys. I got it. I got it. I got it. Got it. Well, I wasn't looking at the chat. I was looking back at the video. I don't. My eyes can't do this. I can only. I can only eyeball one place at a time. You know what I'm saying? I can only go eyeball one place at a time. So anyway, all right. David won the Kahoot, or David and Sensuna won Kahoot. And they both got reviews. So Oxlane, I got gotcha. you. Uh, one two six nine one one. Three seven nine. Okay, I got you. We got Sensuna, David, James, and Oxlane. Then we got some free reviews, unless some, somebody ponies up here in the near future. That's what I would do, man. I th I would fix your CLS team when I get done with all that, Sensuna. I you really you got a CLS team there you can invest in, and then think about like a Dash Rendar team. You know, like um, you got Star Killer up. You can think about when well, you can get Star Killer to Relic. You need to do that, and you're probably not very far from a Sith Eternal. Honestly, Sith Eternal is a guy that you kind of accidentally can farm your way to. So see where you are, sit with Sith Eternal as well. That might be something to, something to pursue as well. But I think CLS, a nice little Imperial Trooper team would be great. You know, Piet, uh, you could do Veers, Piet, Stark, uh, Farm Dark Trooper for God's sake. And you could put uh, Gideon in there. And then like, uh, I don't know, uh, who else do I use? Gideon, Stark, Gideon, that's it. So yeah, Veers, Stark, Gideon, Piet, and Dark Trooper. I, that'd be a great team to have. So CLS and that team are what I'd be looking at. Because you're going to have to upgrade Piet anyway, and you really don't have anywhere to use him, especially unless you uh, put him in there. But um, then to Master Luke and Leia, I, I mean, you could do that. I would be farming them in the background, maybe. Kind of farm it. I mean, you, if you get CLS, that leads you to that leads you to Leia for sure. So maybe start keep farming the shards for like Rex and Nisa and Drogon, and Biker Scout. Farm that stuff in the background while you're doing all this CLS, and, uh, and what else did I say? And, and getting your, uh, brr, 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 getting maybe, I, your Imperial Troopers. Farm all this stuff for Princess Leia in the background is what I would say, and then go get Princess Leia, and then that'll lead you into Luke, and etc. etc. So that's what I would do. That's what I would do. All right, Sensuna, there you go, man. David, let's see what you got. Then we'll do, uh, when we get done with David, then we'll come back to James O'Mahony. And then we'll do Oxlane. David's going to be 628-236-934. Digger, 010, der Friedvoll Krieger. Der free living Krieger, the free, full of... Full of free, full of freedom, Krieger. What's free to I mean? P 
Peaceful. The Peaceful Warrior is what that is. The Peaceful Warrior. All right, sir. Does it uh, oxymoronic? The oxymoron, the peaceful warrior, what we got here. All right, let's see here. So my journey started playing for fun did not watch youtube and i just started gem master Kenobi because he's my favorite character i realized i won't get Watt anytime soon about that time i started watching youtube i went for sith eternal then bundles came so i bought all except for star killer and ray training yeah i kind of missed now on the ray training now i'm going for ray and only need one more radis event so far i'm pretty messy and a lot from everything yeah i gotcha i gotcha Take a look at the resistance here. Got him up and running. Yep, you're in good shape. Keep farming that Zori Bliss and get Veteran Smuggler Han up, of course. And I don't see Jedi. You need Jedi. Oh, they need Veteran Smuggler Han and Chewie for Ray. Okay. So you almost got. You're almost to Chewie. Yeah. I mean, uh, to Jedi Training Ray. And I don't see. There's BB 8. Okay. Dakota Honaker! Dakota Honaker! I remember you! Dakota Honaker! Happy, happy Honaker, everybody! Dakota Honaker, do you celebrate Christmas? Or do you celebrate Honaker? <laughs> I totally remember your name, dude. <laughs> I totally remember your name. Dakota Honaker, it's Dakota Honaker! Oh, uh, sometimes I crack myself up. All right. Let's look at that first order here. I'm fine, vegan. How are you? All right. Uh, we got the first order up. Let's look at those ships. So you said you had the Radis up and done, which you almost got. One more time for Radis, right? You got to do that. Then you got to finish Smuggler Han. You got to get Jedi Training Ray up, and you'll be in good shape. You'll be in good shape. Um, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Peace Warrior saved 75 people in 12 hours. I don't know what that means. Let's see here. Let's take a look at First Order. All right, so make sure you're farming all these ships, like the shuttle, Special Forces TIE Pilot. It's very easy to farm that that character and ship. TIE Echelon. Make sure you farm all that stuff so you can get Kylo done here with the finalizer. Let's look at your bounty hunter ships. I want to go ships. All right, IG2000, it's kind of behind, lagging behind, so you're getting there. You're working on it. Uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> I love Vader Freeman. Vader Freeman, you are YouTube gold, man. You are YouTube gold. <laughs> hey, hey, if you're out there lurking, Give me a big L or an X in chat. Let's have a lurker call out right now. Let's hear it. Let me hear the lurkers. <laughs> I got a new farming guide coming out. ASAP, Vader Freeman. So make sure you give me a big comment on that one and let me know what you think. We got Darth Codemus. We got Anthony. Papa Chambara. Oh, hang on a sec. Papa, Papa Charalambos. Papa Charalambos. I know I've seen your name before, Anthony. We've got... Uh, come on, man. Uh, we got Kier16, we got Zatanold, who is not lurking at all, Tim Best, David Gibson, Bronson Gifford, David Gibson again, Jason Hunt, Kizzlecat, David Gibson, stop spamming or I'm going to ban you. Drew LaRocco, Bruno Passaro, DFE, Jesus Dominguez, Taz, Sanmex, we got Wookiee Mistake, <laughs> That's, I like that, I like that name. Sam Edwards, we got Daniel Shula. Mike Stu has already said hi. Well, okay, I don't know why you're crying about it. Uh, let's see here. Manny Raid, Eaton High School, kinda, kinda. Uh, kinda. Astro Spencer, big unit. Dusk, Smoller Peppy, Spooky Fisto, uh, River Crasian, Daniel Shula, already there. Ryoko Masaki, let's see. Daniel Municio, Scott Blackham, Michael Sakarik. 
Sekarak, Sekarak, Sekarak? Oh, I, don't, I think Sekarak probably. Chronicality, hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, Sir Boss, CT55. Uh, let's see, Bobo, Reno's Garage, Chrono, good. Love my lurkers. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. You're tremendous. You're wonderful people. Congratulations. Stinky the Hut. <laughs> oh, golly. Oh, whoa. That's uh, Jabba's stinky cousin. Mac the guy, Zeta. Good to see all you guys. Good to see you. Okay. Who's I looking at here? I think we're in David's roster. Yeah, the first order fleets, the bounty hunter fleet. You gotta keep that, keep that up, keep that up. Uh, your negotiator fleet. Let's take a look at that thing since you farmed it. Whoops. Yeah, is that no? It's just a way to. It's just a way to give a little recognition to the folks who just have me on and aren't talking. That's all it is. I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get into some super duper deep definition of lurker. Basically, you you got the stream on, you're working, you're working on, you're doing something in the car, you're hanging out with the family, they're watching something on the TV that you don't want, they're watching, um, uh, I don't know, uh, let me think of a show, um, they're watching Sex in the City, you could care less, so you, uh, you just got something, you know, you, you just got this on your phone, you're listening to it while you play the game, whatever, if you're lurking, I just like to say hi, I like to say hi to my lurkers, that's all it is. Rob's Mad World, good to see ya. Nah, you're, you're fine. You're fine. Lego Fortnite. There you go. See, there you go. Anthony Papacharalambus. I can't, I can't get it. I can't think of those, Greeks name, those Greek names, man. I love doing work while casually getting hated on. <laughs> well, you seem to enjoy it, Vader Freeman, so. <laughs> he did say he loves it. So Vader Freeman loves two things. Vader Freeman loves Star Wars, and he loves doing work while casually getting hated on. So he found the positive things in Vader Freeman's life. <laughs> oh, man, I love you, buddy. So, you should be here more often. This is tremendous. <clears throat> All right. So you're doing Ray, or you got Ray there. Almost there. And then Kylo's going to kind of be next. I'm gonna maybe recommend you might want to buy that. Uh, you might want to buy the finalizer bundle. Eh, maybe not. You're a couple months away from this probably. And then I don't know that. Thanks, Wookie mistake. So, mad engineer is work lurking. All right, Ray and Kylo, and did you get the Star Killer pack? No. Well, okay. So, once again, I if you want a next farm, CLS is a tremendous option here, and and he's so good. I mean, th this team, the CLS team, and you've already got three PO without a Zeta. I'm gonna guess your mods are horrible if you're going gear 12 and Obi-Wan Kenobi. You got Chewbacca, you got Han Solo. You should be farming Chup farm Chupio. Please farm Chupio and get your CLS team up after you get done with all this stuff. You just, they just need the CLS team. It's it's just so important. It's an end game team. It it's really the CLS team is one of the one of the few non-galactic legend teams that perform really well in conquest. Like it beats almost every level of conquest. You can use it three times every three or four times every time you log in. So get that CLS team up and running. Um, I see your Sith Eternal farm that you talked about. I don't think it'd be really horrible idea to finish that as well. I would relic your Wampa. So I mean, I just think do your do your Ray, then maybe do your CLS team, and then come back while you're doing Kylo. Because honestly, most of your your, your entire Kylo team is already going to be reliced. You got a few relic levels you need to add for Kylo. So I would I would get your Ray done. Keep farming those first order ships. And when Ray's done, you start relicking up your CLS team. And because you don't need any more relics for Kylo, then you get done with the first order ships, then you do Kylo. And then I come back around to Sith Eternal Emperor since you're already on the path to get that done. So that's what I would do. That's how I would handle this. Let's look at your mods. I got a bad feeling about this though. Count Dooku's your fastest character. 
Yeah, your mods are not good. Jedi Master Luke is a goat for Conqueror. Yeah, I, he is, but I mean, we're not anywhere close to Jedi Master Luke on this account. I'm, I'm just giving you an example of a low-hanging fruit. What is a, what's a low, and you're in four million so you can do hard conquest. Low-hanging fruit, a team that really does well in conquest, Commander Luke Skywalker. That's a team he can get in like a month. He could relic up that team in a month and be very happy in conquest next time it comes around. Yeah, your mods aren't great, man. They need a lot of work. I mean, I like a speed set here, but if you're going to secondary choice, be offense set. This isn't a bad, this, these are not bad decisions. Crit damage, you don't really need on Yoda as much as offense because he, a lot, <coughs> pardon me. A lot of Yoda's damage is special damage, special damage, special damage, and that's more impacted by offense. So I'd look for an offense primary on the triangle over crit damage, David. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I, I, the mods aren't broken, but they're not good, you know? Nah, they're broken. Your mods are broken. You gotta, you gotta fix your mods, man. I, you need to go watch my mods playlist. Please go watch. I mean, you got the right idea, but um, yeah. Take these two over to the garage, will you? I want them cleaned up for dinner. But I was going into Toshi Station to pick up some power converters. First, you've gotta fix your mods. I have heard that once you start using a bidet, you never go back. I just don't know where I would put it in my house. Can you attach a bidet on the inside of your toilet? I think that's possible, right? I just... I've heard that once you start using a bidet, you don't go back. Um, yeah, you gotta fix your mods, man. Too many gear 12 mods. Too many level 12 mods, man. Yeah, your mods aren't good, David. But it looks like you know what your, what your goal is. Hey, Poppy Brawl Stars. Looks like you know what the goal is with mods, but you're just... You need to invest more energy and resources. At 4 million galactic power, these are pretty awful mods. I mean, honestly, at 4 million galactic power, these are really awful mods. Like, super duper, nasty bad, awful mods. Replace the toilet seat with a bidet. You need an outlet near enough to your porcelain throne. That sounds like electricity going through my body. It's for washing your boots. <laughs> Let me see here. I'm gonna look it up. Buyer's guide, the winner is clear. Electronic bidet toilet seat with cleansing, warm, nightlight, auto open and close lid. Toto. There's Toto right there. How much is this? Check price on Amazon. Uh-oh. Let's see. $1,093? Hold on. Hold the phone. Well, 369 is better. <laughs> I don't know if I'm that interested in getting a bidet. <laughs> Maybe next Christmas. <laughs> $549. Oh my goodness. Wow. Uh, $40. I mean, look at these bad boys. I don't know how you got it for $40. These things are crushing it. $309. That's the cheapest one so far. Holy cow. So if I don't need a nightlight, I, I, the nightlight cost me an extra $240. Is that what you guys are saying? Yowza. Maybe next Christmas. Sheesh. Do I need a remote control where I can go, ah, oh, I am now finished going number two. Clean! Let it go. <laughs> I need a Relic 9 bidet. Good lord. A thousand dollars? Hey guys, we are 19 subs away from 19,000. Look at that. 18,981. That's how many subs we got. 19 subs. Can you guys push us? Oh, we got about maybe an hour left here. Let's, let's push this. Get some folks on to the stream. Get them to subscribe. Let's get some folks on this. Let's get it moving. Let's get this thing moving. 19 more subs. You can do it. You can do it.
Yeah, I, um, okay, hang on a second. Is there a Patreon option to buy Nooch a, toy, a bidet? I do have a Patreon. Nooch too good. You can go on there and watch a bunch of the private roster reviews I've done over time. Private roster reviews are always available for you good folks out there. But, uh, yeah. So, let me see here. By the way, uh, James O'Mahony, we're about to get back to you. So, if you're home, jump in the voice chat. So, yeah. I mean, honestly, you need to work on your mods really badly here. And I would get that CLS team up and running while you're working on Ray and Kylo. Um, I would definitely... That's what you need to do. And you got to farm those bounty hunter ships... But, I mean, you got a lot to work with here. Just keep working on it, but fix your mods. Your mods are really, really bad, David. But congrats on winning the Kahoot today, man. Congrats. Get that CLS up. Montenegro. Good to see you, Marco Lat Latkovic. Good to see you. All right. I'm waiting for James O'Mahony to let me know he's here. We'll give him a, we'll give him a second and see if he jumps into the chat. Can I get a tip for finding a decent guild by chance? Yes, and may I got a video for how to find a guild. I sense someone. Here's a video, how to find a guild. Check that video out. That'll help you. There you go, Sanmex. Sanmex. Anytime, David. Let's see, don't join a guild under 40 players. Do you think you can explain to me how the number one guy in Kyber is? Yeah, uh, River, it's, 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 it's programming, that's all. Someone give me one month membership. Yeah, that, not, it wasn't today, Stinky. It was previously. So have you ever had this happen? You're eating Gogurt. And your hand slips and the go goes off your face, hands, and clothes. I don't eat Gogurt, so I've never had that happen. <laughs> All right, let's go take a look at Oxlane while we're waiting for uh, James O'Mahony to show up again. All right, Oxlane, what you got here, buddy? Let's see that roster, my friend. Oxlane, Womp Rat Cartel! Sith Eternal just... I'm seeing a lot of people that have just finished Ray and are working on her ultimate. It's really fun to see. Really fun. I can come talk to you here if you want, Nick. There's James. Hey, um, can you give me... I, I just started another one. Uh, oh, no, this is Oxlane. Okay. Yeah. Oxlane has joined us for a voice review. Hang on a second. I have no idea how loud I am. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, not too bad, Nick. Not too bad yourself. I'm doing outstanding. So... Tell us about your roster. How, well, how'd you get to where you are? What are you working on? What's going on? Um, a long process. It took been years in the making. Um, played for a long time and then quit and then came back to it at the start of this year. And kind of followed <laughs> nothing really. Um, so I had Sith Eternal, then went Executor and just finishing farms for the entirety of the year is what it feels like until lightspeed bundles came out and then ray kylo the usual well i mean it looks like you're in pretty good shape here did you did you end up getting gas i see the the separatist droids but i don't see gas on the roster yeah i've uh relic of today so that's the current um the current finish farm was to relic gas and then I need to get Ray's ultimate still, and then get the clones up. Oh yeah, okay, so you got gas at seven stars? Okay, cool. So you just unlocked him today, you said? No, you just got him to... I've just reliced him, actually. Like your screen showing him as gear 12, but... Yeah, he only needed one piece, so you did finish that, but it's just not reflecting quite yet, right? 
Yes, that's right. What about his four Zetas? Where are you on that? Yeah. So I'm in the same position as everybody else in this game now. I've got no Zetas for anyone and about 500 places to put them. Yeah, sounds like there's some Zeta opportunities coming our way pretty soon with some double drops and Zeta farming, so I think we're all going to look forward to that. Well, since I've got no seven-star uh, layer requirements, I might not look forward to it quite as much. But Well, you know, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> So, we got Executor here. Um, what's going on with your fleets? Um, so I think I've got all the pilotless ships seven-starred. Um, I've got Malamelons at seven-star now. My Negotiator is on its way. Um, I, I, Profundity or... I think Leviathan's nowhere, because I haven't got Dial for Heaven. So, Leviathan is a no-go. Profundity's probably something I need to do um, and that's they're going into that five way pentagon farming you were talking about I think that's where my my future lies so you're going to get gas are you are you going to do Jedi Master Kenobi before you do the five way farming or are you going to go straight into that no I'm too far behind on what I'm okay I think I've got him at six stars and my guild's doing double rote now. Okay, um, okay. So I'm just buying him on get through. Yeah, you know, if your guild is doing rote, it's like it's great to go in there and get, you know, whatever you get in there, but you definitely sacrifice getting those watch shards. And I actually, um, my hyperdrive account, before I started spending money on it, you know, 100 bucks a week, I actually took the, uh, when we started doing Rise of the Empire, I took my hyperdrive account out of my guild and went to a different guild for like uh, four or five months to get my watt done because I just it was worth it for me to get that done I considered it um, a couple of our guildies did do that yeah um, but to be honest I'm not I'm in no rush for for JMK I'm nowhere near Cat or Commander Otano I'm nowhere close so there's no real rush for me to go for JMK I got you well it looks like you've done a good job of, or you know a pretty good job completing your farms you could use some CLS team, you know, ramping up and maybe some Jedi probably too. Let's see here. Well, you got Julie Bindo up and Yoda's up, so that's okay. What about your Sith Empire? I mean, I don't, I don't know if you need a lot of advice. You're, you're kind of going your path. I would definitely look at Darth Revan because you're not that far from Darth Revan. No, I've kind of been um, where I've been doing the Rory, uh journey. Obviously, Jahanian is on the light side, so I've been farming her, but I've not been able to do Fast of the Fallen. Right. <laughs> She's on the dark side. So that's kind of faltered a bit, but I just want to pick him up just so I can spend some more Zetas on another character, really. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. So, yeah, you've got a lot of you got a lot of FYFing to do here for sure. I mean, your gas team, your CLS team. Um, what else? Uh, I think that's it. Kind of the well, I, I didn't mean yeah, a G, your Grievous team. And it looks like you're working on those things. But, yeah, you get, so FYFing and then... Um, Let's see. Then moving over into Kylo, right? Depends on what these bundles look like. Okay. Next week, I think, because if the finalizer one gets me the command shuttle, then I'm I'm on the doorstep. So if, it if the finalizer I'm, uh... bundle is twenty bucks, are you going to buy it? And it has a command shuttle. Do you think you'll buy it just to get that? Um, depends on what the other ones are, actually. Okay. If they get, if they get me closer to something else, then maybe I won't, because that's you know it's. Three, two, three months left on the command shuttle. Okay, okay. And I, I've got no echelon to go with fleet, so. Right, right. Um, I mean, like you're, you're in good shape here, man, and you got your farming under control. We're gonna look at your mods, but while I'm looking that up, tell me about your, what's your Star Wars story and what's your Galaxy of Heroes story? How did you find the game? How did you fall in love with Star Wars? Um, Star Wars has been just a family thing. Uh, my dad's a sci-fi enthusiast and he was a Trekkie <laughs> and uh, kind of I became a, a Star Wars fan so I wasn't a Trekkie and then uh, that just kind of went from there I uh, I watched the prequels first and then learned the error of my ways <laughs> and went back and watched A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back and realized how much better they were um and then yeah disney happened <laughs> and uh i'm a still a still a star wars fan but begrudgingly a little bit now how did you start um, playing galaxy heroes 
I was looking for a game to not play Raid Shadow Legends. Now, why um, is that? I just got sucked down that rabbit hole. Okay. I uh, I needed a game that I could I could play on my phone for you know commuting oh. and just in and around on the mobile, and uh, Raid was my first choice, and um, I played that for too long. I <laughs> needed to get off it, so. Galaxy of Heroes was the one. So wait, so what's the difference between playing Raid and playing this game? Um, money. So Raid, you, you were just spending more money playing Raid than playing Galaxy Heroes? Yeah, pretty much. Now, um, I'm really curious, why, why is that? Um, naivety, maybe? Insecurity? Okay. <laughs> um, but I, I now have a little one and family and all that, so that was my way of uh, my way of <laughs> getting myself off of it. Isn't it interesting? And, and I'm the same way. I'm a naive kind of guy. Um, like which is why I was talking about earlier about going. I default to trust. But when you become self aware of your naivete, are you still naive or have you moved on? You know, that's anyway separate discussion. So. <laughs> Well, hey, man, I actually, this is great. I'm glad you jumped on and, and had this conversation. Is there anything you'd like to uh, give us as parting words? And by the way, your mods seem very top heavy and you do need to work on your mods. Yes. Yeah, my mods are uh, my, my top five or six. So yeah, quite a nice step. But I'm sure we've talked is... about this before, but I mean, you should start up with Sith Eternal and Ray and, and get their mods and then just filter their their mods down to other play other characters as you go. Yeah, I just need more six dot mods on the, across the whole thing. Okay. I'm so sure on them. So, um, but, what's one thing you tell us, or what's a, what's a parting word from you today, Oxlane? Um, at the end of the day, it's just a game. I uh, I lost my my mum a couple of weeks back, and it gives you a lot of perspective, and family matters. And it's just a game. Buddy, I'm so sorry to hear that. Are, are you doing all right? Yeah, yeah, doing, doing okay now. How's your family? That's good. As good as can be. Okay. As good as can be. Well, um, yeah, I'm so sorry, sorry to hear so that. Sorry, that's sour note. Sour note, that one. I didn't want to. No, 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 no. That's, you yeah, know, it's knows. life. Life hits us, you know, it's... and we've, we've all lost people. But, uh, and you got a it's baby just... too, you said? <laughs> Yeah, well, a few years old now, but... Okay. A toddler. Yes. Well, you know what? Take care of your, take care of your baby and enjoy these years. And, uh, yeah, I'm so sorry to hear about your loss. It's uh, A lot of us have been through that. We know how tough it is, and we can certainly relate to uh, what you're going through right now. But, uh, yeah, take care of your family, man. And I agree. It's a game, you know? It, it's... It's uh, it's a lot of fun, and it takes up our time, and, and it takes our energy. But don't let it pull you away from things that are really important. I'm I'm with you, man. So, exactly that. Well, Oxlane, thanks for the support. Thanks for jumping on and talking to us today. This is great. But uh, yeah, go fix your mods, man. <laughs> Cheers, Mitch. <laughs> All right, sir. I'm gonna publish uh, in chat. That's Oxlane, always here. Membership. Good to see you, buddy. Um, I'm gonna publish the five way farming video here for uh, who asked about it. Somebody asked about five-way. Uh, Leon Shaw, there you go. Here's the five-way farming video, buddy. Take a look at that. Um, yeah, Oxlane, buddy. So uh, just take care, man. That's, that's uh, yeah, I've been there. I've been there. So um, James O'Mahony, are you here yet? James O'Mahony, can you hear me? I'm trying not to go to somebody else's review, but uh, I can't really, you know, I need you to jump in that voice chat if you're home. You said 20 minutes, but that was... Uh, that was 40, 45 minutes ago, man. I hope he's here. I hope James O'Mahony didn't, didn't bug out on us. I'm going to give him another minute or so. We're going to take a look at Dakota Herdiker. Let's do some spinning. Let's spin the wheel already for James O'Mahony, and we'll take a look at Dakota Herdiker. Uh, here is the random picker wheel for this month. Let's give this thing a spin. We'll spin it three times today for three free roster reviews. All right, what do we got? Let me go to my free roster view room. Uh, 
My granola bar left little pieces of itself lying all over the place. Sir Boss 37! Let's see if, uh, let's see if they fixed the, uh, alert box yet. Nope. I hope that's not just completely boggled up, man. Sir Boss, oh, what did I just, I just did something. All right. At Sir Boss. All right, there's our first one. Who's next? If you'd like to get your name on the wheel for January, go to my Discord right now. Go to the December, or go to the January free roster review room. Enter your ally code, and you can get your name on this wheel for January to win. Ah, there we go. <laughs> uh oh, we we proved Vader man. Uh, so that person is not in the Discord. Yeah, we're not going to give it to this person just because of their name. Uh, that, that violates the rules of the Discord channel. So, there we go. Vader Freeman, you're right. I'm about to get banned, my friend. It's, uh, it's all over. It's all over. All right, what do we got next? It's going to be... Reno Speed Shop. Let's see if he's still in the Discord here. There we go. Reno Speed Shop. That's a name I've never heard. Reno Speed Shop. That's a name I've not heard in a long time. A long time. And one more free one here. I'll wait for James O'Mahony and Decur to her Decur. Well, I hope James O'Mahony makes it back to the chat. If he doesn't, I'm just going to go ahead and do his review anyway. But uh, I know he was driving at the time and trying not to talk. Puppet 04. Let's see here. There you go. Uh, there we go. There we go. I'm telling you, Vader Freeman, is your job in compliance? I'm serious. Or do you have a job in compliance? I'd like to know if you have a job in compliance. Or what is your job? Do you go through individual lines of code looking for one little mistake? I mean, do you, you have that kind of brain? I think you do have that kind of brain. I'd love to hear what your job is, Vader Freeman. All right, who's my last one there? It was um, Puppet 04. Okay. Okay, we're going to do good to Kurt or Herniker. Let's take a look at your roster right now. Then we will look at uh, James O'Mahony, whether he's here or not. We're going to have to move on with it. So 492-933-284. Decurter Herniker! His job is human resources? That's another one. Oh. I can tell you some nightmares of human resources. I swear to God. I, I, we had a guy. I'll tell you a story. I'll tell you a story. I'm not gonna name the company, and I'm not gonna name any names, and I'm gonna tell you what I was doing. It was during COVID, and we hired a bunch of people to work remotely, okay? We hired a bunch of people to work remotely. Yeah, James Hody, jump in the voice chat. We'll do you next. Um, we're going to do Dakota Herniker first, though. So we hired a bunch of people to work remotely, and we didn't really have anything. There was no system set up. So we set up a class that we are going to teach them. We set up, like, uh, mentors for them when they came out of class. We were tracking their activity. We had a guy who, for the first two weeks of training, was not logging in at all he was not responding to texts he was not responding to phone calls when we finally got a hold of him he's like oh my phone is broken i can't get in so we called hr and we said hey this guy is non-responsive for two weeks we can't we and we told hr this when he would we didn't respond to the texts we didn't respond to the phone calls and hr would not let us fire this guy who is not even participating at any level in the job that he interviewed for and was hired, he was not participating. And even when he finally got a hold of him, he still continued to not participate. And all HR would say is, what are you doing to reach out? What are you doing to accommodate him? What are you doing for this guy? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? It's like, what is this guy doing? We hired him to work a job 
that he's actively not working. He's throwing it in our face and HR would not do anything about it. And I cannot tell you, I have so many stories like that about HR. And I'm not, I also have good stories about HR reps who worked with me on people like that and we got them fired or got them removed. But when I get an HR rep like that, you know you got somebody that is never going to help you do anything and you should just ignore them and just leave that person on your job and, do, and document it to your senior management and move on with your life. Because that HR rep is not worth your time in reaching out about failing employees because they will never help you. They will never help you. You could try to help an employee all day long. I've had employees, we coach, we coach, we coach, we coach, we coach, we coach. We go to HR over and over and over again. We've been doing it for six months to a year. That person is still bad at their job and HR will still not allow you to take action. And welcome to corporate America. So that's how I feel about HR. Ah, Been through that, been through that. All right. Dakota Herdiker, are you still here, buddy? Any notes from Dakota Herdiker? Hey, Sir Leo. I'm Come here with Ron, you, Nooch. Huh? Wait a minute. Is Dakota Herdiker in chat? Yeah, I'm here with you. Dakota Herdiker! I know I'm the only one that's ever done that, right? Yes, you are indeed. I'm not sure it makes me a good person or a jerk, but uh, anyway. How do you it feel makes about, me laugh. I how do you thought feel it was about funny. it, <laughs> I think it's pretty funny. It, it was hilarious the first time. All right, good enough, good enough. All right, man, tell us about your roster. What's happening? What's going on? What are you working on? What have you worked on? What is happening on the roster? Uh, it's been a long journey. I just got um, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren unlocked today. Uh, and I have, you know, a few other things that I'm close to, so I wanted to get your advice on, on what I should, you know, lean towards. I'm leaning towards Executor at the moment, um, but I'm close to Gas, I'm close to uh, Ray, and I'm close to Sith Eternal as well. So, you just don't, I can see you just don't like Screener Kylo because he's still gear 7. You didn't save up gear and, or anything for him? No, I kind of like got the blinders on and I was focused on, you know, just unlocking him while I was, you know, gearing up uh, other things and whatnot. So, but I'm going to start saving up and get him ready. I do have a few Zetas that I can put on him, but okay. not all six. Okay. Hey, Dakota, we got a, uh, we got a new mask. Malkasel is here. Let's say hello to Malkasel. Ooh, that didn't work. Master's master looks after us. Master. Us. Master must go inside and will be the master. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to talk about all this chuff and chat. We're going to finish up here with the Curter and then we're going to talk about chat. So, all right. So you you've got that. Do you have? Did you buy the all the bundles? Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, I did. I mean, so and you got Star Killer done, so that's good. Um, do you have Palpatine done for your Star Killer team? You have to. You got Kylo. Okay. Let's see here. I mean, how close are you to Ray? I just need to finish up BB-8 and Jedi training Ray, and I think there's one other thing I need um, to get, maybe a relic or two on another character. But I'm close to her. You probably need to have Scavenger Ray relic seven too, I believe, right? Right, that's yeah. the one. Okay. Yeah, well, and your Radis will be five stars soon, so that's where you get, but, um... Yeah, the, um... Yeah, so... Go. Before these packs came out, I was, like, rushing towards Sith Eternal, but then all these packs came out, and I kind of got sidetracked and went for SLKR, so now that I got him, I'm kind of in a holding pattern, and I don't know if I should get ships first, because I've been... Listening to what you saying, like getting up in Fleet Arena can get some more crystals and stuff like that, or should I just finish up my Sith Eternal and then go for Executor? Or... Well, you look like you're pretty close to Executor, right? You've got the TIE Bombers at six stars? Yep, and it's I have like 84 shards of that right now, so it'll be seven stars here soon. I would, yeah, get your Executor, man. I think that's your next stop. Executor Kylo, and then you do your Sith Eternal after that. And I think that those are your next three stops. Because it, 
Looks okay. like you're not all that far from getting executor done, honestly, right? Yeah, not at all. I think the only other... I need to get 7-star on the TIE Bomber, and then I need to Relic uh, TIE Fighter Pilot. And those are the two biggest hurdles, I think. And Dengar. Is Deng I think Dengar, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what I think you should do here, if I'm looking at everything, and um, is... Finish your Kylo for you know Kylo's a, you got him right now so get him get all his Zetas get him relic get everything done, then you're going to be working on Ray and Executor at kind of the same time, um, with both being an equal priority probably maybe Executor a little more than Ray but get your Executor and your Ray done get all your Zetas applied and then I'm going to tell you to relic up this Phoenix team with Captain Rex and so then you just need to finish some farms right so. You're gonna go to Ray and Executor in no particular order. First, you're gonna get SLKR, finish it with Ray Executor. Then you need to finish up, finish off your CLS farm, finish off your Phoenix farm with Captain Rex. You got them all. All these guys are gear 12. Relic your Savage Oppress. Um, relic up your General Grievous team. So you got a lot of work you can do on the side, and also you can, while you're doing that, you can also farm Sith Eternal. But I would say those other farms are more of a priority than Sith Eternal right now. Although you're pretty close to Sith Eternal, he just he has, he has a lot of uses, but kind of limited uses, even though he's a galactic legend. I like him a lot. So that's what I would do, and, and that'd be the end, of, the end of your finished farm journey would be Sith Eternal. So finish Kylo, do Ray and Executor, then do your CLS, do your Phoenix, do your General Grievous team, get Savage Oppress, Relict, then you, then you finish off your Sith Eternal, and then you move forward from there and see what, that's what I'm looking at on this roster, um, and you'll be in pretty good shape. And you need to start thinking about um, let me take a look here real quick. I'll let you get in a word here in a minute, I promise. Um, no problem. But the Separatist, you need to start thinking about either your Negotiator or your Malevolence. Have you started farming either one of those? Yeah, my uh, Negotiator, I almost have unlocked at five-star. Malevolence, I'm not even close. I think I, think I did one uh, purchase of that with the guild currency, but I'm like 90 shards into Negotiator. Okay. Honestly, with the way your roster looks, I would keep doing that and keep, you got the two, Anakin and, and Ahsoka Arella, keep, keep farming Rex's ship in the fleet arena store, farm that Marauder, and you'll be in good shape with this, uh, Galact and farm that Y-Wing too. So get that Galactic Republic fleet up and working with Negotiator, you'll be in good shape there. And a good comment from Jason Peterson in chat, go Executor first, since you don't have the Zetas for SLKR team yet. So Executor needs fewer, fewer Zetas than Sith Eternal. So I would agree with that. Uh, get get your uh, Executor first and then go into Ray, because you just all the Zetas you need are going to hold you back. Yeah. All right. So hey, what is your um, what's your story? How what's your Star Wars story? Your Galaxy of Heroes story? Well, I've always loved Star Wars since I was a little kid. Um, my dad is has always been a big fan, so I watched the. Um, the original trilogy and then my parents took me when i was a kid to see um all the prequels as they came out and, and i'm a big uh darth maul fan and then i got into like the books and stuff so i love darth bane so with the announcement of darth bane as well i was like oh i really want to get sith eternal because he's supposed to work well with him but i mean i'm not even gonna get him anywhere close with how conquest is going so uh yeah but um, we're Galaxy of Heroes. I played it when it first came out for a few months, and then just life got ahead of me, and I quit playing for a little while, and I came back, and then I left again um, around like 2020, and then I just recently came back like a year ago and really started playing like seriously. So, uh, but I love the game. I love both these kind of games. I kind of play Lord of the Rings Home too, as well. kind of dabble in that. So, are you still playing Loader, homie? Yeah, it's um, I'm I'm hoping that they start coming out with more with more game modes and stuff. They just came out with like glyphs and stuff like that, and they updated some of the UI and stuff. Um, but I'm waiting to see what other game modes they give us before I make the decision on whether or not I'm going to stick with that or not. Yeah. And I can see, so this is the same roster you had when you started the game when you were a kid, right? Yep. Yeah, because I can see your level 50 Clone Wars Chewie, your level 40 Eeth Koth, I see Luminar and Dooley level 60, Clone Sergeant, Jedi Count, I see all these guys, and yeah. that's all early game stuff, man. 
Yep. <laughs> All right, dude. Well, any final word for us here uh, for the for the folks on stream as as you head out here? This is, is I love your roster. It's in good shape, and you're in really great, really looking good here. And you got a lot of a lot of stuff to work on. But what's some parting words for everybody? Well, everybody, regardless of what uh, good old boy Vader says in chat, listen to Nooch. Um, one of my biggest things for you is watching your mod videos. Um, I was really lacking on mods, and then I watched your mods 101 video and like went through my whole roster and like deleted everything that didn't have speed and reworked it all. And it got me from the bottom of Grand Arena. I'm up working towards, I'm in Bronzium 2 now, so I'm working you know up slowly so definitely listen to nooch stay the course and uh i appreciate everything you do for the community all right jacur to herniker thanks a lot man i appreciate you coming on and having a voice chat with me today buddy you too nooch thanks for having me all right talk to you later you um are. i want to address a couple things in chat so king of britain says he worked with a dude who used his company laptop as a personal and had all kinds of not suitable for work websites on his computer Got busted with it by IT and ended up getting promoted. Yeah, that's the classic. If he's smart enough and valuable enough, it's like it's like a guy in a sports team. You know, the 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 best player on a sports team has to do a lot of inappropriate stuff before they'll get rid of them. And having NSFW, yeah, you sign a contract. Companies don't want that on their computers. You can't put that on your work computer. So then somebody else mentioned something else. Oh, so Vader Freeman mentioned. I thought the goal of the account is to be and make an effective account. Then new stuff just turned into a spending spree account. Um, actually, Vader Freeman, the goal of the game in the account is to have fun. And so I've got multiple accounts now. We're trying to take a, a fun little path to Jabba to see how long that takes us and, and where it takes us, what the account looks like, just to get a feel. You know, from my the way I like to do stuff, I like to experiment around and do things that are a little bit not the norm so I can see how that guides us. When I play games with my friends, I don't like to take the pet like... I have one friend who always wants to tell me, well, the best thing you could do is this, because he's a game, he's a board game like expert or whatever. You should do this with, and I, I've told him, don't give me any more advice. I don't want to hear your advice, because I'm trying to learn this game on my own. I'll learn it by making my own decisions and my own mistakes. I view learning as making the mistakes. So I, I make these accounts to have fun, do something a little unique, a little bit fun that you guys will enjoy watching, and also at the same time give you an idea of what's happening in the game. We take a free-to-play journey toward Jabba, and we kind of see how that can impact a roster. Good, bad, ugly, and different. Does it cost us a whole year? Is Jabba worth it? We don't really know these answers until we do it. Until we do it. Um, you know, we do the $100 a week. Is it worth it to spend money on the game? How far does money get you? How far ahead in the game can you get by spending $100 a week? I've taken the money that you guys are investing into the channel, that you guys are giving, you know, supplying by watching videos. I'm investing it back into videos on the channel. So, the goal of making all these different accounts, of spending $100 a week on account, of rushing Jabba, of making my, my current free-to-play account, which is, was originally a Supreme Leader Kylo rush, and then went into gas... My goal is always to do something a little bit different with each account, find a different path, see the mistakes, see where things happen. I started doing free-to-play this year. I've done two free-to-play accounts this year, two new ones, because I hadn't done it in three years. And it was important for me to get back in there and see what that free-to-play experience was like in 2023. So that's why I do accounts, to see the mistakes that can be made. Let me make some mistakes on my own. Let me try some stuff and see what happens so that you guys can maybe get around making those attempts. I'm here to help you, and I can do that in a lot of cases by trying something new, unique, different, and fun, and let me make all the mistakes so that it, it fuels you and lets you know what you've got to do in the future. And that's how I view the accounts I'm working on the channel. And that's why I'm doing the $100 a week account to have fun and do something unique and interesting with a different perspective. And that's what's going on. I'm not getting them. He did, you know, Vader Freeman's not going to be happy with that answer. He's going to disagree with the whole thing. And there you go. Good enough, Vader Freeman. If I charge less for... This is what happens, Vader Freeman. If I charge less for roster views, I lose complete control of the stream. That's what happens. I make, I end up making less money and I'll be on here for four, five hours, six hours doing roster reviews and I'll be completely exhausted. I'll get burnt out and I will no longer be able to make videos on the channel. I've gotten to that point a few times in the last year. As the channel takes off 
and the channel's been growing great over the last year. I've gotten there a few times. I've gotten there a few times where I have just been exhausted and burnt out. And when I get to that point and I'm on a roster review stream, then we have to pull back. We have to charge a little more for roster reviews. But Vader Freeman, I do freaking free reviews every dang stream. So suck it, Vader Freeman. Suck it. Take your complaints and suck it. God dang it. I do 40 to 50 free reviews every single dang month. Every month. Do not tell me I charge too much for roster reviews. I charge the market price on this channel. You win. <laughs> You win. Yeah, I'm not going to mute him. It's too much fun. Are you kidding me? This is gold. <laughs> you win. <sighs> Let's see. All right, hang on a second. I charge the market price for roster reviews and I give away 40 to 50 free roster reviews every month. I, that's all I'm going to say. All right, James Mahoney, jump into the voice chat, please. Oh, you're there. Good. Golly. Sorry if I screamed in your ear, James. <laughs> Are you there, buddy? Yeah, I'm here. All right. You're kind of faint. Uh, I have uh, AirPods and so if that's any issue. That is better. I'm that listening. Is better. Uh, yeah, no problem. <clears throat> All right, James, I'm pulling up your roster, buddy. Tell us what's going on with the account. What are you working on? What got you to this point? What's happening? So basically, just a quick backstory. My account. I started back in 2017. I played for about three years. I took about 18 months off. And then I came back after that for about six months. And then I took another two months break. But I'm back fully now. Okay. So, a lot so of, I mean, you're in the shape of a lot of people. A lot of people came in, played, took time off, came back later. Um, how, what's the heck? I don't want to replace... Sorry, I'm trying to write a... Okay. Um, so, you got gas. Okay, so you just... This is the uh, This is the AP Gains Approved Farming Method. Is that where? You, is that the, the direction you went? Uh, no, I just kind of... I kind of went with a bit of everything first and then uh, I went on from there then and I focused on gas. I'm focusing on JMK right now. I have uh, the last uh, character I need to gear up to 13 is Cody. Uh, so then after that it's just relicking the characters. I've Django up to 7. I've Wash and Clone Sergeant up to uh, 1. And then the other two to relic then. Yeah, you Jane are. K. You're right around the corner from Jedi Master Kenobi. That's awesome, man. Yeah, and I, I, for Cat then, I know Cat is a big uh, part of the J, JMK team. Uh, I'm 140 of uh, 330 of uh, of her, and I'm getting her through uh, proving, proving grounds. Yeah, so that's a long way. That's like a year. Do you have any plans to purchase her with crystals or... or um... Do you double up on Proving Grounds every month with the... Uh, with uh, the... Well, I've doubled up this month with Proving Grounds for... Uh, I got the Proving Grounds Plus and obviously the regular Proving, Pro Proving Grounds. Okay, good, good. Yeah, because, I mean, 140 to 330, that's 190 shards you need. If you do 40 a month, then you're talking five months. Yeah, not so bad at 40 well, a month. Uh, yeah. If I have extra crystals left over and built up, uh, or I might even buy some to... Uh, to uh, refresh her node just to get an extra maybe 20. Okay. So, uh, depending if, uh, say, if I could get JMK within next month, I might do that for one of the uh, proven grounds is just re uh, refresh her node once to maybe spread it on a bit more. Uh, and then what I'm looking at then next is either one of the fleets profundity or Exactly, her 
and then I'm close to Ray as well. Yeah, so you did the hyperdrive bundle, right? The guy or light lightspeed bundle, not hyperdrive. Yeah, uh, the only lightspeed, the one that I bought was for the Radis. Okay, let me take a look at that. I'm I'm just waiting to get Radis up to five stars. Uh, so I I think I'm twenty to thirty shards away from bringing the Radis up to five shard or to five star. Yeah, and you just got looks like Jedi training ray, BB-8, veteran smuggler, the veteran smugglers, yeah. and. That's about it. Scavenger Ray's got to go to seven, but yeah, you're in really good shape here for Ray too. Yeah. So like the way I was going to look at it, maybe slow farm the Ray one and uh, go hard in on one of the ship farms. That's the way I was looking. Are you farming the Marauder at all for your negotiator fleet? Uh, not yet. I see it that it's been brought into the uh, one of the nodes. All right. I'm kind of look. I'm finishing off my uh, IG ship so I can get the Hans Millen Falcon to seven stars, and then I'll be relicking him obviously for the uh, what is it called for the executor. But, uh, I already have Ask more or less done for that. Are you farming uh, the Tie Bomber at the minute, at the moment? Start farming. Are you cut off? The Thai bomber. I'm slowly doing that. He's with a. Uh, he's a double node with a uh, Kamul, isn't he? From uh, the Resistance fella. So I'm doing that at the moment. Farming for Bat or not the Resistance, but for Bam. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Right. Right. So yeah. How I'm many doing, Razor Crest shards do you have? I'm seventy five of one hundred and forty five or whatever. So like every chance I have the credits to buy him in either uh, the fleet currency or the guild store, I'm buying them. I would say I would make that your next priority is getting an executor. Um, really, fun. you need to finish some farms too. Like you need to finish your Jedi Knight Revan farm, your CLS farm. Uh, actually, those are, only, those are only two I see on here. Uh, your Darth Revan. Darth Revan, Jedi Knight Revan, and CLS are teams you should finish on the roster after you do Ray. But I would really focus in on Executor. Get those bounty hunters up. Um, get those, get the, you're working on the ships, like you said, but get the Razor Crest farm, get Beskar Mando farmed, and keep farming that TIE Bomber and make that a priority for you because that's going to really transform what you can do with this roster yeah. in all modes of the game. So I'm kind of holding on right now for BAM until that light speed bundle comes out, but okay. I'll spend. I'll get that, and then I'm hoping one of the new light speed bundles might be something either for C or the executor that will give me a certain amount of the uh, characters for it. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense, man. I get it done. So, I mean, you've got a lot to farm here. Now, let's. I'm gonna look at your mods, but go ahead. And, what's your uh, while I'm looking at that? Tell me your Star Wars story. What got you to Star Wars, and what got you to Galaxy of Heroes? Oh, so just about the same time in 2017 when I started watching. Uh, I was starting playing this. I kind of watched the second half of uh, the Revenge of the Sith uh, on TV. It was on over Christmas, so I watched the second half of that. And then it was just right before uh, The Rise of Skywalker came out. No, not The Rise of Skywalker, the episode 7, sorry. Uh, and then so I kind of just been the week leading up to episode going to see that I just binge watched everything to do with Star Wars so I started from 4, 5, 6 and then went to 1, 2, 3 and then I kind of started watching the Clone Wars then and after ep I watched episode 7 I went to watch the uh, I binge through the Clone Wars and Rebels and kind of got caught up with everything then did you mention the original trilogy anywhere there? Yeah, I did. So I watched four, five, six first. Okay, and sorry, I, I missed one, it. When I was... One, two, three. Okay. I think I'm so appalled at your mods that I missed you saying that. Pretty that bad. <laughs> I'm just, I'm te You do need to work on your mods. You're lacking some speed yeah. on here. Um, but I can see that you, you've got ideas and you know where you're going and what you want to do with your mods. So, um, yeah. yeah, man, it looks good. I mean, I love your story. Uh, I, I, I just, just, 
it's it's a it's a, it's not a typical story. 2017, just kind of you know coming along there and starting to watch the movies and then going back and, and watching everything in the the catalog from there. That's that's that's, that's a recent convert. Um, but yeah, welcome aboard, man. It's good. I'm I'm glad you're in here. I'm glad you jump on for the re the review, James. Is uh and and by the way, you got to work on these Revens. You got to you got to get them up and running. And please, yeah, I see a lot of like Relic One, Relic Two. Take everything to Relic Three. It's a, like a minimum to at least get your roster to Relic Three. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of looking towards that, but it's just uh, I'm trying to meet the requirements for JMK at the moment. So it's just I can't. I don't want to be wasting stuff right now on stuff that I don't want to Relic. Right. For a later stage. Right. Because even though I I do I will spend on packs like that, uh, like the light speed bundles and stuff, I don't spend for relics or things like that. I'm I'm kind of half and half. I'm half kind of free to play and a half spender, but it's only specific things I'll spend for. If you know, if you understand. I, I'll let you know if you're half and half free to play, then you are not free to play. Just FYI. Yeah. I, yeah, I know, I know what you mean, but like, <laughs> I know, I know what you mean, but uh, it's I'll, I'll choose what to kind of. I'm just razzing you, man. Don't worry, I'm just giving you a hard time. Yeah, yeah. I, no, know, I, yeah. I get it. You, you don't. You're not gonna just pay money to get your farm finished and get it. You know, you're you're trying to farm intelligently and put your money to to the best work it could possibly be. Is what I hear. Yeah. 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 All right, man. Well, I I love it. I, you've got you definitely have a lot of potential. Some farms to finish here. Um, I would really start that executor needs to be a priority for you in addition to finishing some of those art fronts but I look forward to seeing Ray on the roster too any uh, any parting words for the crowd here just thanks very much for what you do giving people roster reviews and stuff it's a great help I appreciate yeah, that so, James thank you so much yeah. in light of uh, how Chad's running today well we got one guy that, that yeah. disagrees with it so well uh, forget about him anyway <laughs> Just don't listen to it. I let the troll <laughs> win. I turn to the dark side. It happens. It happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all yeah, right, man, yeah, and yeah. work on your mods a little bit. They could use some work. But yeah. man, James, I'm glad you jumped on. Thanks for yeah. thanks for sharing your time with us today. I I actually constantly work on my mods. I'm for my top characters at the moment. I'm constantly uh, splitting them and all that. So get her done, man. That sounds good. Yeah. All right. Thanks very much. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. All right, I think that's going to wrap up our paid portion unless somebody's... I'm going to jump into 50 bucks right now. All right, so hey, is... um We had, we had, a, we had a high council member here. Who was that? It was... Uh, who was here? I can't remember. It was... Geralt! Geralt, you still here? story today. Good to see you, buddy. I hope you're still there and caught that. All right. HB Lana, the way you get your name on the wheel, I'll, I'll, I'll share a little video here with you. This is a video about how roster reviews work on the channel. What you want to do is go to um, go to my Discord, go to the January free roster review room and put your ally code in, and you will get your name on the wheel for January free roster reviews. Guys, we are at 18,985 subscribers right now. 15 more. I got three free reviews to go through, and it looks like that's going to be the end of our stream. Can we get 15 subscribers in the next like 15 minutes, that would be pretty pretty substantial, pretty awesome. I don't know if we're gonna make it today, but hey, we're having a lot of fun, so let's go take a look here. Let's take a look at Sir Boss 37 first. That'll be our first free review here. Let's do this, Sir Boss. It's gonna be 183-496299. Didn't put any dashes in, so I had to look closely at that. All right, Sir Boss, what you bows, man? <laughs> I'm the boss, man. Geralt is here. Is it Geralt or Geralt? I don't know. I watched that show like for three episodes, and I just did not enjoy it. Um, I'm a, I, I like uh, I like old what's his name, but uh, what is his name? Why can't I remember the dude's name? S Superman, Henry Cavill. I like Henry Cavill, 
But yeah, that show, like, I got to like the third episode, and I'm like, are we actually, is, is anything even going on here? And I just kind of tuned out. My son loved it, but it just didn't do much for me. So, Bowsman, Rebel Force, Yevon 4, what do we got? Jedi Master Luke, Jabba the Hutt, Sith Eternal, Rey, Lord Vader, Supreme Leader, Jedi Master, Kenobi. A little bit of flex here, a little bit of accidental flex from Sir Boss. Sir Boss has an awesome roster, is looking good, making it sharp, making it happen for the children. This is good stuff. I like it, man. I mean, we're just going to gush. Look at that. He's got Jedi Knight Cal Kestis. Uh, I saw Star Killer up there. Of course, we got Seer Junif. We got Jedi Knight Cal Kestis. Do we have Leia? I thought we didn't look. Yeah. No Leia yet. Where? Let's take a look at this. Where are Rebels? Let's just look at Galactic Legends. How about that? Is Leia on here, but not quite? No. I uh, looks like she should be done. Let's take let's let's see what's going on. We got Scout Trooper at Relic One, so just not quite yet. We're almost there, I think. Let's look at our Ewoks. Princess Nisa is at Relic Six. Um, Rebels, we got. Uh, where's Drogon? Where's Dro Drogon is Relic Seven. Rex is Relic Seven. So, yeah, just a few rel a Relic level on Nisa, and then six Relic levels on Biker Scout, and boom, Leia will be on this roster. Nice, great roster. Let's look at the ships. The ships. We got Profundity. We got uh, Executor. We got Malevolence. How's that Leviathan farm looking? Gotta get the Profundity up to seven stars. By the way, let's look at those these Sith ships. All right, so we got uh, B28 is working on it. Tie Dagger is working on it and in really good shape here as far as getting ready for the, the Leviathan next. I think you're in great shape for that. So this roster is looking good, man. I got I got no complaints. I'm surprised it's only in Kyber 2, uh, Sir Boss. I'm, I'm surprised you only made it into... There's Sir Boss. Almost there. Good to see you, buddy. Sorry, chat's going crazy. I didn't see you. Geralt. Okay. The show is not great. I love the games. Gotcha. Gotcha. You read the books? Isn't it books too? Like you've already got Malik at nine and I'm probably holding off on Revan to get Leia and then do Leviathan. So it's looking good, man. Let's look at some mods. Let's check, let's check out your mods. What do we got here? We got speed mods on Darth Revan. He is at once. Oh, that's pretty good speed. Ran a good speed. What do we got on, on Malik here? We got, still got, uh, well, I'll, so some people have started to do this on Malik to go with the Malgus team. And um, I don't really know how it works. I mean, I get all the protection, convert that to health. I think that's a great idea. Let's go through. Um, let's take a look at your mod. I, I mean, I got nothing to say. It's a great roster, man. Sir Boss, you're crushing it. You're crushing it. Get yourself into Kyber 1. What's Why aren't you in Kyber 1? Everybody's fast. I mean, I already saw Darth Revan was really fast. So these guys are going to be even faster. Why aren't you in Kyber 1? What's the story there? What's what's lacking, Sir Boss? We got speed here. We got health and 23. I mean, these mods are tremendous. Look at this bad boy, 29. Why aren't you in Kyber 1? What's happening, Sir Boss? Why can't we get you in Kyber 1? Ships kill me. Oh, you're the guy with the MLB uh, thing. Okay, I remember that. Ships kill me. Well, you got profundity at four stars. You'll get that Leviathan soon and you'll be in great shape. Um, let's look at your, well, yeah, you don't have high bomber done, so that's not good. Hopefully you're farming your Marauder every day. Once you get those ships done, man, get yourself in Kyber 1 and make some stuff happen. I, I got nothing to say. This is a tremendous roster, Sir Boss. I, I'm glad I drew your name. We got to see, this is what a 10 million perfect looking roster will look like for everybody. I mean, look at this thing. Top to bottom. Let's get the speed off of there. So, I mean, just looking sharp, dude. Nice roster. Everybody's level 85. Congratulations. And, I mean, it's just a great roster. It just really is. It's humming. It's popping. You could probably take your Geos up and farm that Hyena Bomber every day. That would be a good thing for your roster. But I love that you'll have Leia soon and Leviathan soon. And your, your speed is all there. Your Jedi Counselor is Relic 3. Congratulations. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. But, man, the roster's looking great. Nice job. Nice job, sir, boss. Well played, sir. Well played. Let's take a look at uh, Ren Speed Shop. That's not what it is. What is it? Reno Speed Shop. Yeah, let me look that up here. 
Reno Speed Shop is going to be 953-513-828. What you got? Luke's daddy. Luke's my daddy. What is that? Are you black, Reno? <laughs> Begin again. What to do with that? All right, Reno, 3.2 million. We got Jedi Knight Revan up and running. Relic 8 on Jedi Knight Revan. Wow, fancy. Fancy. We got an offense set. I don't know if I'd go that way. In fact, I know I wouldn't go that way. I like to see speed on Jedi Knight Revan, and I'll bet that like 90% of the top players do too. Let's see here. Although, on a Jedi Master Luke team, does he still want speed? Let's take a look. Yep. So people are still modding him for speed and health. It's 58% uh, of the top players mod him for speed and health. Another 12% do have just speed on there with a couple of mismatching mods. That it would indicate to you that they're just trying to get maximum amount of speed. It's all speed. Everyone has him modded for speed. Speed, 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 speed. Not offense, 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 offense. Yeah, speed, speed, speed. Speed, speed. Yeah, I wonder why you should be out of Carbonite. This roster should definitely be out of Carbonite. I agree with that. I agree with that. Bought the packs. So are you farming the ships for the packs? Radis at four stars. Um. Oh, okay, so you know what? The, uh, the finalizer pack is probably going to look really good for you. I bet that finalizer lightspeed bundle is going to fit really nicely into your world. So I would recommend looking for that that uh that finalizer pack to see if you can really make it happen with that you should you know executors kind of along the path i don't know if the finalizer pack will have the bounty hunter ships in it also but yeah look for that finalizer pack to really take you across the finish line for kylo then you can get kylo and ray you should be working on kylo and ray right now your primary your primary farms let's see okay there's ray jedi training ray and bb8 so you are working on it that's your next couple of farms let's 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 see if we've got any speed going on here at all Resistance Hero Finn, it's not a bad place to have your fat on this roster. It's not a bad place to have your most speed, which is not very much speed. That's, you you don't have a lot of speed. Master, 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 I feel the need, the need for speed. Ow! I'm telling you, I've got to get my, I got a new computer. I got to get it hooked up and start using it. I got big plans for the channel in the new year. We got a lot of fun things coming your way for the, from this channel in the new year. A lot of fun things coming your way in 2024 on this channel. We're going to up the entertainment value on the channel. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to push, push, push the envelope to see what we can do on this channel in 2024. My game just shut down, unfortunately. So I have to get back into Reno Speed Shop's roster. You do need to farm a lot more speed on your roster. It's just, it's really lacking, but you should not be in Carbonite at all. With this roster, was he in Carbonite 5? Like, he just doesn't play Grand Arena? Let's take a look. It was 953-513-828. Carbonite 5. He doesn't play Grand Arena. So, that's fine. That This player joins Grand Arena and just just doesn't play. You know, maybe gets one or two battles in and then moves on just because he doesn't enjoy playing Grand Arena. He enjoys farming. He bought the bundles. I'm surprised with the... Uh, Really, it was since drill. We've had we've had one, two, three, four, five conversations today, buddy. You missed them all. Rewind it, buddy. Rewind it, since drill. We had five conversations today on on chat. <laughs> you need to go. You need to go talk to Vader Freeman. <laughs> Anywho, um, yeah. So, uh, Reno, I, you need to farm some mods. Finish up your Ray and Kylo, and and I don't know. After that, you're kind of wide open. I mean, you're wide open after that. So maybe go get your executor. That's what I probably would work on. 
if I'm looking at this roster, since you're going to get Kylo, you're going to need these Bounty Hunter ships. So you're going to go Ray, then Kylo, and then Bounty, and then, uh, then Executor. But work on your mods like crazy. Your mods are not very good. It's interesting to me that you bought the bundles, but you're not really interested in Grand Arena. I find that I'd love to talk to you, but you're not here right now. I'd love to talk to you about, you know, the purchase of all the bundles, but not really making an effort to play in Grand Arena. I think that's a really interesting combo of mentalities here. So, but unfortunately not here, but if you're watching this later, Reno, let me know in chat. Let me know in the comments what you're, what you're, uh, what's going on there and why that's going on with your rosters. So, but yeah, that's my advice for your roster. Make it happen. Make it so, number one. Okay, next, I can't read my own handwriting, you guys. Finally, we've got Puppet 04. Puppet 04 is going to be... 244-531-195. Enard, the Knight's Radiance. What you got, Puppet 04? See there, Erodium 2 with a, kind of a similar roster store, but there's Jedi Knight Luke on this one. Anybody's getting high-speed mods? HP Lana, I got a mods playlist that can guide you through all that. It's just, it's just work. You just gotta, you gotta go, go, go. You gotta keep farming, farming, farming. But I got a whole mods playlist that'll help you out with that. Um, there's Puppet 04. Good to see ya, Lana. Go take a look at that. Puppet 04, 5.8 million. No Galactic Legends, but you're working on one, I think. Me thinks you're working on one. Let's take a look here and see which one you're working on. I don't think... I don't think he's working on Jedi Master Luke because there's no Jedi Knight, Jedi Training Ray farm there. Working on Jabba. The Jabba farm. Farm the Jabba. There we go. All right, let's see here. I, I love it. Get your get your Vader farm done. That's awesome. <laughs> you guys are still going at it, man. <laughs> Farming profundity, working on, I ain't working on GLs. You're not working on Java? Sure, looks like you're working on Java. You got, why aren't you working on Java? You're working on profundity. Let's go look. And you're just as close to profundity as you are to, to Java there. Just saying. All right. All right. I mean, hey man, I, I, get get your profundity. I, you know that's the kind of a fun farm. I, my buddy Dank Ideals, who hasn't been on the stream today, you know he started his his roster with Star Killer and Profundity. So you got Star Killer, Profundity kind of mixes in there because you get Dash Rendar. It's it's one character I know, but um, you know Kyle Katarn doesn't really lead to anything. And Darth Talon doesn't really need lead to anything. And uh, Mara Jade doesn't really lead to anything. But, you know, Dash Rendar does. So you got Profundity, you got Dash Rendar going for... Going for um, you want to get into Kyber without GLs first. I'd love to see it. Let me know when that happens. So you have, if you're going to do that... If you're going to get into Kyber without GLs, what you're going to have to do is build GL counters. And GL counters are going to look like your Treya team. Uh, you got a lot of stuff here. You got Bad Batch. Uh, let's look at those Sith. So Treya is a GL counter. There you go. Treya, Savage Brush. You guys watch me do that team in Darth Talon. Get your Revens up. Look at that Darth Revan. That's, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Looks like he's pretty... Mm, I don't know. Um, your other one would be... Um, where are we here? Fennec Shand. Fennec Shand kills Lord Vader. So that'd be good to have Fennec Shand up in, at Relic 5 or so to kill Lord Vader. She also performs well against other Galactic Legends just to knock out the sides. So I'd love to see you get into Kyber with no Galad. That's a great goal. I love that Puppet 04. I be I even be Jedi Master Cat Kenobi Cat with Bad Batch. I'd love to see that, man. Do it again and send me a video. You know, they probably had bad speed mods on that team, but that's an accomplishment, man. Bad Batch versus Jedi Master Kenobis. Um, yeah, that's it's great, man. I love it. I love it. Go get all these teams. AP Games would love you, dude. If you want to get more teams, I mean, your, your Darth Revan, your Revens, and, I mean, you got more work to do. I love it. This is great. A very unique roster here.
Hey everybody, we're looking at Puppet 04's roster today, and his goal is to get into Kyber without having a Galactic Legend. So, to that end, he has farmed, I got this up on Rebels, he's farming the Profundity right now, but he has farmed the Executor at 7 stars. He's probably got his Separatist fleet up and running. I haven't looked, let's find out. There's that Separatist fleet up and running. He's getting his Galactic Republic up and going with, with the Marauder. I hope there's a Marauder. He's got teams like Bad Batch, he's farmed his Darth Treya team, he's got Jedi Knight Luke with Jedi at Revan. He's got a lot of teams on here to counter. Uh, where was I looking at? Jedi Knight Luke with Jedi Knight Revan. I was going to look at your Jedi there. He's got a lot of teams on this roster that can counter Galactic Legends. So more power to you, Puppet 04. Get yourself into Kyber and then come back here and let us know so we can take a look at your roster again. I love it, man. I think it's a tremendous goal and I, I love the idea of setting a goal of getting into Kyber without having a Galactic Legend. I think that's great. You could use some more speed on Vader, that's for sure. Let's take a look at your speed mods here. Hey, Vader Freeman, is it my problem if other people don't charge enough for roster reviews? And my understand, I, I know other people do roster reviews, some more in depth, some not. Um, the mar it's I'm charging the market price on this channel. The market price for Ross Review is the market price for me to maintain my sanity and keep making awesome content for everybody that loves it, which does not include Vader Freeman. He thinks I'm a joke. So, But he's been here the whole time. He's been here the whole time, man. Echo's your fastest. That's what he should be. Wow, 171. Nice. You're, okay, your mods are right. Your mods are ordered. Use Vader with Trio. Other random stuff doesn't need them. Yeah, I agree with that. I think that's right. I think that's right. I love it. I love your roster. I love the idea. Your mods are in great shape. I love your farms. You got your paths down. You don't need help from me. Puppet 04, I would love to see you come back again. I know you didn't pay for this. I'd love to see your roster back here when you make it into Kyber without a Galactic Legend. I'd love to hear about it and have some fun. Sensuna, what what was your guild? What was the guild name? I don't remember. I, I really, I remember enjoying it. I don't remember. Tell me what the guild name was. We're going to have a little dance here at the end of the stream. Thanks for jumping on, guys. We had a lot of fun. Hey, look out, Leia. Look out. Leia's laying down. I don't want to roll over with the chair. Leia, we're out to have a dance party. Then we're going to let me go outside and have some lunch, okay? Hey, everybody. This is a great stream today. We've had a lot, we've had a lot of fun with Vader Freeman. All the radiant tours on board. Yes, I enjoy. I did enjoy that. That's a that's a quality That's a quality um, guild name. It's a quality guild name. Where is... Oh, that's not what I want. I want this one. Boy! Oh, look at that. Look at that. Uh, wow. I got that alert box really big there. I got to figure that out. Are they still having problems? No current problems at Streamlabs. It means I need to probably just go back and log back into Streamlabs. So... All right, everybody, let's have some fun today. Commander, execute order 67. <laughs> oh, yes. Hey, I hope everybody had fun today. I had a good time. Had a little freak out there for a minute. It's okay. I know you guys enjoy that a little bit sometimes. Get ready for the bridge. subs that we hit we'll take a look here in a second i had a good time with all of you i'm glad you joined us here today let's take a look where we went we did i don't think we hit 19,000, but we were pretty close we finished our stream with 18,987 subscribers we're gonna hit 19,000 later today that's a great thing thanks for all the support guys i really appreciate it you're all wonderful people even vader freeman is a wonderful person even though his opinions are wrong but that's okay 
It's a free country. It's a free free place to live your opinion. You're allowed to have opinions even when they're wrong, Vader Freeman. We love you. We're glad you're here. Everybody, have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. And of course, always remember, Nooch too good.